ASC Warranty's greatest assets are the people that make up the ASC team. The work ethic and dedication to consistently superior services provided by all of their employees are second to none. ASC Warranty is proud to say the Bombers have the same values. ASC Warranty is one of your biggest fans. They will be cheering you on every step of the way. Go Bombers! Don't let an injury keep you down. Board certified orthopedic surgeons, Dr. Wynn Moore and Dr. Ed Roeder at Baxter Health Bone and Joint Clinic are ready to treat athletes of all ages. Doctors Moore, Roeder and their staff integrate high quality, compassionate care with innovative treatment and years of experience. Baxter Health Bone and Joint Clinic will get you back to doing what you love. For more information or to schedule an appointment, call 870-424-4710 or visit baxterhealth.org. Discover the refreshing difference at Baxter Real Estate Company. While they welcome new faces, their agents are seasoned experts in the realm of real estate, particularly the captivating Twin Lakes area. With a treasure trove of knowledge and years of experience under their belts, their team offers unrivaled guidance to fulfill your property dreams. The area is experiencing a rise in listing inventory. Whether buying or selling, trust their experts to navigate the market with finesse. Baxter Real Estate Company, the Twin Lakes area's best choice for local realtors to help you find that perfect property. Brad, what are you doing? I'm resizing all my boxes. Why? New math. Everyone's doing it. The Big 10 equals 12, the Big 12 equals 18, and the Pac-12 now equals 4. And I have Traeger, Samsung, Sony, and Sonos systems that fit in all kinds of boxes, so I'm resizing. People don't care about your boxes, just the stuff that's in them. Yeah, well, 10 out of 8 people like our big boxes better. Folks, come see all of our different size boxes next to Walmart Mountain Home or at BigBoxBrad.com. Five points. <laughs> The community of Mountain Home continues to be committed to the Bombers, just as Centennial is committed to their customers. Perseverance, commitment, and resilience are key ingredients for success both on and off the field of play. Whether you are cheering on the Bombers, starting a new business, or planning for the future, Centennial is here for all of life's moments. Let them be your partner. Centennial Bank, member FDIC. Hi, this is Katie. It's basketball season, and Farmers and Merchants Bank is cheering on the Mountain Home Bombers. We applaud the extra effort athletes, coaches, and band members contribute to make our school activities such a fun part of our community. Like you, working as a team to help you reach our goals as Farmers and Merchants Bank's game plan for success. Farmers and Merchants Bank, finally, a bank in your corner. Go Bombers! Member FDIC, an equal housing lender. Since 1965, Harold Tucker Auto Parts has been serving the Twin Lakes area. Thank you, Twin Lakes area. See Harold Tucker Auto Parts for parts both foreign and domestic. From parts for automobiles to parts for mowers, they have custom-built hydraulic hoses and welding supplies, too. Open Monday through Friday, 7.30 to 5.30. Harold Tucker Auto Parts, your bumper-to-bumper -bumper auto specialist. Family-owned and three generations strong. Harold Tucker Auto Parts, proud to sponsor the Mountain Home Bombers. 810 South Street, Mountain Home, 425-5040. At Knox Orthopedics, they know the pain from an injury demands immediate attention. At Knox, they can fix that. Their four highly qualified physicians, Drs. Knox, Rawls, McConnell, and Franklin, make it their priority to see you as soon as possible. You'll benefit from the best in orthopedic medicine with doctors who really care about getting you back to a life that's pain-free. See them at Number 3 Medical Plaza Mountain Home or during clinic hours at Harrison, Salem, and West Plains. Check them out at knoxorthopedics.com. Use your smile to change the world, but don't let the world change your smile. North Arkansas Dental Group, formerly known as Coleman Family Dentistry, is a proud supporter of Mountain Home Bombers. A family-friendly dental office providing a state-of-the-art clinic, North Arkansas Dental Group is dedicated to you, your health, and especially your smile. Visit us at our new location at 2338 Highway 62 West or call 870-424-4670. Go Bombers! If you are tired of buffering and sketchy service, you need to experience Next, powered by NAEC's fiber optic internet. With service up to one gig, Next internet is the definition of high speed. Plans start at just $49.95 a month. Subscribe to Next by calling 870-895-3221 or visiting mynextfiber.com. You may also subscribe by visiting North Arkansas Electric Cooperative's office. 
Are you building a new house? Not sure where the property lines are? Strider Consulting can help. They're a civil engineering and land surveying firm located at 1029 Highway 201 North of Mountain Home. With over 23 years in the business, Strider Consulting has the experience and expertise to bring your project to life. Visit strider.consulting to see their full list of services and request your quote today. Strider Consulting is a proud supporter of Mountain Home Bombers Athletics. Strider Consulting, engineering our future. United Country Real Estate of Mountain Home is the largest seller of rural real estate in the United States. With United Country, you'll find trust and integrity, integral parts of their high standards. As a seller, you'll benefit from United Country's unique and proven marketing system. You owe it to yourself to call the number one team in the nation today at 425-3820. United Country Real Estate, proud supporters of our Mountain Home Bombers. White River Materials has earned a reputation for producing industry-leading high-quality results. They have the experience and equipment to perform each project quickly, safely, and cost-efficiently. Privately owned and operated White River Materials prides themselves in quality work with the customer's best interest in mind. If you need limestone or concrete products, or someone to do the job correctly the first time, give White River Materials a call today at 425-3431 or 425-4510. When the time comes to consider home care for a loved one, let First Choice Home Care make it a simple and easy process for everyone. With trained PCAs and CNAs, we will treat your loved ones like our family. With 10 offices around the state of Arkansas and award-winning care, let us show you why First Choice Home Care is the best choice. Give us a call today, 870-222-0088, or visit us on the web at www.firstchoicehomecare.net. And as always, go Bombers! ASC Warranty is proud to support the Mountain Home Bombers. ASC Warranty provides dealers with vehicle protection plans for any vehicle in their inventory. ASC Warranty's greatest assets are the people that make up the ASC team. The work ethic and dedication to consistently superior services provided by all of their employees are second to none. ASC Warranty is proud to say the Bombers have the same values. ASC Warranty is one of your biggest fans. They will be cheering you on every step of the way. Go Bombers! Don't let an injury keep you down. Board certified orthopedic surgeons, Dr. Wynn Moore and Dr. Ed Roeder at Baxter Health Bone and Joint Clinic are ready to treat athletes of all ages. Doctors Moore, Roeder and their staff integrate high quality, compassionate care with innovative treatment and years of experience. Baxter Health Bone and Joint Clinic will get you back to doing what you love. For more information or to schedule an appointment, call 870-424-4710 or visit baxterhealth.org. Discover the refreshing difference at Baxter Real Estate Company. While they welcome new faces, their agents are seasoned experts in the realm of real estate, particularly the captivating Twin Lakes area. With a treasure trove of knowledge and years of experience under their belts, their team offers unrivaled guidance to fulfill your property dreams. The area is experiencing a rise in listing inventory. Whether buying or selling, trust their experts to navigate the market with finesse. Baxter Real Estate Company, the Twin Lakes area's best choice for local realtors to help you find that perfect property. Brad, what are you doing? I'm resizing all my boxes. Why? New math. Everyone's doing it. The Big 10 equals 12, the Big 12 equals 18, and the Pac-12 now equals 4. And I have Traeger, Samsung, Sony, and Sonos systems that fit in all kinds of boxes, so I'm resizing. People don't care about your boxes, just the stuff that's in them. Yeah, well, 10 out of 8 people like our big boxes better. Folks, come see all of our different size boxes next to Walmart Mountain Home or at BigBoxBrad.com. Touchdown! Five points. <laughs> The community of Mountain Home continues to be committed to the Bombers just as Centennial is committed to their customers. Perseverance, commitment, and resilience are key ingredients for success both on and off the field of play. Whether you are cheering on the Bombers, starting a new business, or planning for the future, Centennial is here for all of life's moments. Let them be your partner. Centennial Bank, member FDIC. Hi, this is Katie. It's basketball season, and Farmers and Merchants Bank is cheering on the Mountain Home Bombers. We applaud the extra effort athletes, coaches, and band members contribute to make our school activities such a fun part of our community. Like you, working as a team to help you reach our goals is Farmers and Merchants Bank's game plan for success. Farmers and Merchants Bank, finally, a bank in your corner. Go Bombers! 
Member FDIC, an equal housing lender. Since 1965, Harold Tucker Auto Parts has been serving the Twin Lakes area. Thank you, Twin Lakes area. See Harold Tucker Auto Parts for parts both foreign and domestic. From parts for automobiles to parts for mowers, they have custom-built hydraulic hoses and welding supplies, too. Open Monday through Friday, 730 to 530. Harold Tucker Auto Parts, your bumper-to-bumper -bumper auto specialist. Family-owned and three generations strong. Harold Tucker Auto Parts, proud to sponsor the Mountain Home Bombers. 810 South Street, Mountain Home, 425-5040. At Knox Orthopedics, they know the pain from an injury demands immediate attention. At Knox, they can fix that. Their four highly qualified physicians, Drs. Knox, Rawls, McConnell, and Franklin, make it their priority to see you as soon as possible. You'll benefit from the best in orthopedic medicine with doctors who really care about getting you back to a life that's pain-free. See them at Number 3 Medical Plaza Mountain Home or during clinic hours at Harrison, Salem, and West Plains. Check them out at knoxorthopedics.com. Use your smile to change the world, but don't let the world change your smile. North Arkansas Dental Group, formerly known as Coleman Family Dentistry, is a proud supporter of Mountain Home Bombers. A family-friendly dental office providing a state-of-the-art clinic, North Arkansas Dental Group is dedicated to you, your health, and especially your smile. Visit us at our new location at 2338 Highway 62 West or call 870-424-4670. Go Bombers! If you are tired of buffering and sketchy service, you need to experience Next, powered by NAEC's fiber optic internet. With service up to one gig, Next internet is the definition of high speed. Plans start at just $49.95 a month. Subscribe to Next by calling 870-895-3221 or visiting mynextfiber.com. You may also subscribe by visiting North Arkansas Electric Cooperative's office. Are you building a new house, not sure where the property lines are? Strider Consulting can help. They're a civil engineering and land surveying firm located at 1029 Highway 201 North of Mountain Home. With over 23 years in the business, Strider Consulting has the experience and expertise to bring your project to life. Visit strider.consulting to see their full list of services and request your quote today. Strider Consulting is a proud supporter of Mountain Home Bombers Athletics. Strider Consulting, engineering our future. United Country Real Estate of Mountain Home is the largest seller of rural real estate in the United States. With United Country, you'll find trust and integrity, integral parts of their high standards. As a seller, you'll benefit from United Country's unique and proven marketing system. You owe it to yourself to call the number one team in the nation today at 425-3820. United Country Real Estate, proud supporters of our Mountain Home Bombers. White River Materials has earned a reputation for producing industry-leading high-quality results. They have the experience and equipment to perform each project quickly, safely, and cost-efficiently. Privately owned and operated White River Materials prides themselves in quality work with the customer's best interest in mind. If you need limestone or concrete products, or someone to do the job correctly the first time, give White River Materials a call today at 425-3431 or 425-4510. When the time comes to consider home care for a loved one, let First Choice Home Care make it a simple and easy process for everyone. With trained PCAs and CNAs, we will treat your loved ones like our family. With 10 offices around the state of Arkansas and award-winning care, let us show you why First Choice Home Care is the best choice. Give us a call today, 870-222-0088, or visit us on the web at www.firstchoicehomecare.net. And as always, go Bombers! ASC Warranty is proud to support the Mountain Home Bombers. ASC Warranty provides dealers with vehicle protection plans for any vehicle in their inventory. ASC Warranty's greatest assets are the people that make up the ASC team. The work ethic and dedication to consistently superior services provided by all of their employees are second to none. ASC Warranty is proud to say the Bombers have the same values. ASC Warranty is one of your biggest fans. They will be cheering you on every step of the way. Go Bombers!
that they can't shoot it like that. Brad McClain at 6-2. Salem Springs in their home whites, coached by uh, Tim Stewart. Uh, they've got one senior in their starting lineup. That's Nathan Hawbaker at 6-1. All the rest are sophomores. Uh, they've got Evan Allen at 6-5, Stuart Schwaninger at 6-2, uh, also uh, A.J. Moore at 6-foot, and Crew Webb at 6-1. You know, we've talked about before, this is a very young Salem Springs team. Yeah, both, both boys and girls. Don't have many seniors. They graduated a bunch of seniors. I think Coach Stewart's son was part of it last year. They yes. graduated, and um, you know they've been like I said. They, this boys team has been the class of the league for the last few years, and so anytime you can catch them down, you definitely want to do that if you're the Bombers. You bet. And you know, to, and Tim Stewart, he does a good job. He's here. an awesome job. Yeah. He's a great coach, and uh, you can see him pouring into these sophomores. And he's basically saying we're going to uh, we're going to re, re jump things and restart things. Well, let's go.
And we're also on the uh, Bomber Sports Network on YouTube. So we thank you for all those who are joining us. Finishing up the uh, starting lineups uh, here at, uh, so at Forest Asylum Springs. And uh, Josh Holter is giving his team some last second instructions. Before we have our opening tip off, brought to you by Clear Results Glass. And Matt Tome comes out on the floor. Silent Springs just get a few more instructions from head coach Tim Stewart. So, like, keys to the game tonight, Matt. We're going to make sure we don't let uh, don't let Silent get off to a, a good start here. Pretty decent crowd here, not like Russellville. Russellville's atmosphere was really, really good. It was a big yeah, night. Was. They had a wide out, and um, it was a good crowd, much like we're probably going to see Tuesday night at the Harrison game. And We'll try to keep everybody updated on scores. It'll be the girls' scores now because around the league, the girls are playing right now. But That's we'll try right. to keep everybody up with scores. Harrison-Alma is a huge game on the boys' side. Russellville-Greenwood, girls' side, that's the big game there. It was Braden Dewey and Evan Allen jumping center, and uh, Evan Allen won the tip as South Springs moves right to left in this uh, first half. Ball goes quickly into the right corner, and uh, Moore, A.J. Moore putting up the three in and out, and the rebound's controlled by the Bombers. Mount Holmes already blitzing, trying to get double teams on their point guard, trying to speed Salem Springs up on the offensive side of the ball. There's the 3-2 defense. They're not sending out very far, though. Ball goes up top to Harris or to Tate on the right side. Try to throw it down to Dewey. Ball knocked away and stolen by Allen. Ball goes over on the left side to Webb. He drills to the low block, has the ball knocked away, gets it back. Now he's going to put up the layup over Dewey. Won't go, and the rebound's chased down by Harris. I don't really know what that call was. The guy jumped up to shoot it and then just dropped the ball after he dribbled, but not home lucky to come away with it. Here is uh, Tate with it, gives it to Harris. He drills up toward the top. Tries to throw it down to Dewey, ball knocked away, but it's going to be a kick ball. Uh, shock, oh, nope, the, the shot clock shouldn't have reset. It was at 18. Uh, they better fix that real quick. I think the official's looking at it. Yeah, he's, he's yeah he caught, he caught it. it so. You know, that's another thing. The officials, they, that's another thing they have to watch out for. they got to keep up on time. Hold on, hold on. They're, they're trying to throw the ball in here. Yep. Fish on the end didn't get the message. There we go. <laughs> there, there you go. go. Like I said, there but, you go. But you got to watch the shot clock. As yep. an official, you got to look up there and see how much time is on the shot clock and, and continue to know what to reset it at. So good job by this near side official of keeping up with that. You bet. Here's Harris with it on the right side. Gives it down to Dewey in the paint. He puts up the turnaround jumper. Good, and Mount Home strikes first. There we go. Paint touch for Braden Dewey. That's going to be a theme of tonight, I believe, looking at the way the offense is set up so far. Well, they didn't reset the shot clock, and now, the, now they have. So we're already we're having a couple issues right now. Salem Springs boys and girls are both 0 for the uh, 0 for here in the conference season, and it's like the scores table might be 0 for tonight to start. Yep. So try try to figure out where to put the shot clock at. It's they put it on 35, but it needs to be okay. They're 32. going to put on 32. All right. So we'll be more inbounding the ball on the far sideline. He gets into Haw Baker, who will walk it into the front court. That's all it looks like, what, a 1-3-1? One, one? Uh, I think we're just in our little zone, our oh, matchup okay. zone that we do, but sometimes we extend it out, and that's what we're doing right now, and it's leading to turnovers. Yes, it did. Uh, Mount Tom comes up with the steal. Here's Tate back the other way. He goes behind, behind the back. The back. Uh, uh, ben goes up for the left, wouldn't go, and the rebound's controlled by Hawbaker. He's quickly back the other way, tries to throw it to Allen. Ball's knocked away and stolen by Harris. Silent Springs doesn't want this game to go up and down like that, but Blaine Tate got to the middle lane, did the old behind the back, tried to go up, just unable to make the shot, the last possession. Tate will give it to Harris. He has it on the right wing. Up top to Carson. Silent Springs that 3-2 once again. Over to Tate in the right corner. He's going to pull up for the three-pointer. Good. And that's another way you can beat that 3-2. Braden Dewey came down and screened that bottom guy on the block. Blaine Tate snuck out behind him for a wide open three. Back the other way. Allen goes into the lane for the lab. Uh, no good. Offensive rebound for Webb. He puts it back up and in. And Silent Springs is on the board. 5-2 our score. Mount home up with 5.50 left in the opening quarter. Salem Springs now going to go, looks like a 1-3-1, going to extend it out to half court. Yep. And they're going to drop back into the 3-2, and that's exactly what they did. Tate will get, bring it in the front court, gives it to Harris, back to Tate, down to McLean in the left corner. He's going to try for the three-pointer. This one won't go, and the rebound is controlled by Schwaninger. You know, with that 3-2, normally it's a 2-3. You've got bottoms that can flare out. That corner three, you're susceptible to that. If Mount Home can start hitting those, they're going to have some open looks at that tonight. Allen with it on the left side. He'll give it to Webb. Finds a cutting. Hawbaker into lane. He can't get the reverse layup, and Tate gets the rebound from Mountain Home. Tate quickly into the front court. Dribbles up top. Gives it there. Harris. Harris will throw it. Find Carson in the right corner. He mishandles the pass. Gets it back over to Tate on the wing. Down to Dewey on the low block. 
He dribbles into the lane, throws up top to Harris. He's going to put up the three-pointer. Good. So, Matt, not only does paint touches lead to Braden Dewey scoring, it also leads to teams collapsing for the open kick up for uh, – for McGee. You bet. 8-2, to, eight to Mount him up. 4.46 left in the opening period. Ball's with Schwaninger on the right side. Over on the left, it goes to Webb. Has the ball knocked away, and the ball goes out of Ooh. bounds. They're going to say off Mountain home. And it's, well, now the officials yep. are going to talk. No, nope, they're going to reverse it. Yeah, yeah, good call here. This near side official, they bounced that straight off his foot. So there's another turnover against Silent Springs with 4.39 left in the first quarter. Note taken. I wasn't, I wasn't going there. <laughs> I wasn't going there. Matt's standing up, and I'm sitting down, so Matt can see over my shoulder at my uh, turnover and uh, rebounds, and he always lets me know when I don't get them right. Oh, my, what a move by Blaine Tate to just blow by his defender and get that layup. He's got five on the night. 10-2, to two, Mountain Home up, 422 left, and now it looks like uh, Silent Springs is going to take the timeout. We'll break with 421 left in the first quarter. It is Mountain Home leading Silent Springs 10-2. to two. You're listening to Bomber Basketball on Classic Hits 101.7. When the time comes to consider home care for a loved one, let First Choice Home Care make it a simple and easy process for everyone. With trained PCAs and CNAs, we will treat your loved ones like our family. With 10 offices around the state of Arkansas and award-winning care, let us show you why First Choice Home Care is the best choice. Give us a call today, 870-222-0088, or visit us on the web at www.firstchoicehomecare.net. And as always, go Bombers. South Springs taking their first time out of the night as Mount Home is up 10-2 with uh, 421 left to play in this uh, first quarter. Again, we're doing the boys game first because this is uh, this is the Panthers' homecoming night. So you know, we talked about all the, one of the keys to the game was eliminating the fast start for Siloam on this night. Yes. Mount Home is the one that has jumped out early. You love to see it. Inbound pass goes from the far sideline into Haw Baker. We're back underway. It will bring it to the front court. It's met by a double team. Gives it to Schwaninger. Schwaninger dribbles on the left side. He's just outside the paint. His pass is knocked away and stolen by Tate. Tate quickly back the other way. He's going up for the runner in the lane. Good. And Blaine Tate has come to play tonight. He is aggressive on the offensive side, and it is good for the Bombers. You bet. Ball goes over on the left side to Dylan Dunn, who checked in during the timeout. Now uh, Allen has it. He has the ball knocked away, and another turnover against the, against the Panthers. Here's Tate with it. Throws it to McLean on the left wing. His three-pointer is up a little short, and the rebound's knocked around, and the uh, ball's still being fought for, and it's going to be a jump ball, and it will be Mount Tom's ball in the possession arrow. 3.39 left in the first quarter as the Bombers will uh, get, get it back. So is that a reset shot clock there? Did, I don't did think anyone ever have, have, had possession. Yeah, I don't. I think it should be a 35. It should that, be a 35. Yeah, it's down to 31. But they're not going to catch it this time. I guess two out of three ain't bad. <laughs> Here's Dewey within the left corner. His three pointer is up oh. and in. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Braden Dewey with five on the night. 15 to two. Bombers up. Three and a half minutes left in the first quarter. Hall Baker into the front court. Gives it to Schwaninger. Now back to Hall Baker to Allen at the free throw line. Deshwander on the right side. His three pointer is up and in. He's got all five of their points, right? No, he uh, no. Uh, Crew Webb has oh, the Crew other Webb two. Is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's Schwander's first three points of the night. Fifteen to five. Bombers up on the Panthers. Three ten left in the first quarter. Ball goes into the front court to McLean. Now back to Tate, just inside the half court stripe. He has it between the circles. Throws over to Harris. Harris drills on the right wing. Gives it to Carson in the corner. Down to McLean, just outside the lane. Back to Carson. They like that short corner, especially in this. Uh, if you can catch the ball in the corner and swing it down to that short corner, there's not a lot of room, but it's wide open. Tate, another uh, three-pointer. Good. He's already in double figures with 10. Blaine Tate. The basket looks huge. Keep feeding number two. 18-15. to 15, Bombers up on the Panthers. Schwaninger with it on the right side. 235 left in the first quarter. Ball knocked away, and another steal for Mountain Home. Now, they almost uh, lost, the, lost it themselves there. Ball yes. goes over to Tate. He's going to put up another three. This one won't go, and the rebound is controlled by Hawbaker. Tate, love the shot. Keep shooting it. You love that. He's wide open. That's kind of a heat check moment. It looked like it was going down just a little bit short. Ball goes to Hawbaker on the right side. Gets by his defender going into the lane for the layup. No good, and the rebound is controlled by Tate. Tate quickly into the front court. Going into the lane. Dribbles now dribbles back towards the left corner. Losing the hand of the ball, but is able to save it into McLean and avoid a turnover. McLean will throw it to Harris on the right side. 
They switch to a man, it looks like Salem has. Yeah. Harris going into the lane. He's going to be fouled on the way. Or are they going to call on the floor? They're going to call on the floor. All right. So that fouls on Stuart Schwaninger. That's his first personal foul. Team foul number one against the Panthers here in the first quarter. Uh, Mountain Home. Hockey substitution here. Yeah, yeah it looks like uh, they're clearing the floor except for Ryder McClain. Nope, Nothing no, they're going to leave him in. And no, it's going to clear the floor except for Braden Dewey. They're bringing in uh, Drew Haney, Rhett Gilbert, Levi Uchman, and Coben Enskeep. Yeah, you got to love the start for the Bombers right here. Keep fresh legs. See if this group can come on in and uh, continue this onslaught. And now pass goes to Dewey up near the top. He's going to dribble into the lane, going in for the layup. Won't go. No, nope, they're going to call a travel. Mm. 147 left in the first quarter as Tom Springs gets it back. The Panthers brought in some subs as well a moment ago. Now Red Gilbert comes up with a steal in the backcourt, goes in for the easy layup. Seven turnovers already for Salem Springs in this first quarter. Back quickly comes uh, come the Panthers and another timeout for Salem Springs as they get into the front court. We'll break with 135. Let's play in the first quarter. It is Mountain Home leading Salem Springs 20 to 5. You're listening to Bomber Basketball on Classic Hits 101.7. Use your smile to change the world, but don't let the world change your smile. North Arkansas Dental Group, formerly known as Coleman Family Dentistry, is a proud supporter of Mountain Home Bombers. A family-friendly dental office providing a state-of-the-art clinic, North Arkansas Dental Group is dedicated to you, your health, and especially your smile. Visit us at our new location at 2338 Highway 62 West or call 870-424-4670. Go Bombers! If you are tired of buffering and sketchy service, you need to experience Next, powered by NAEC's fiber optic internet. With service up to one gig, Next Internet is the definition of high speed. Plans start at just $49.95 a month. Subscribe to Next by calling 870-895-3221 or visiting MyNextFiber.com. You may also... Well, Salem Springs already using uh, two timeouts with 135 left in the first quarter as Mount Home is up 20 to 5. Here is uh, Caden Hansen who checked in a little bit ago. He will give it to, to uh, Crew Webb over on the left side now to, uh, to uh, Jaden Hooten. His three pointer wouldn't go. And a fight for the rebound. It's going to be a jump ball, and Salem Springs is going to keep it on the possession arrow. Yeah, got to get that ball out quick. Levi got the ball, and Salem had a player behind him and didn't know he was coming up. He was able to get in there and. Smack that ball for me. Hanson will inbound it on the baseline. Trying to figure out where to go with it. He's about to be counted, but nope, he's going to get into Moore on the left corner. Moore's going to drill to the lane, going in for the jumper. Block, blocked by Dewey. He comes up with the ball. Inskeep into the front court. Throws it to Dewey on the right side. Down to Uchman in the corner. He's going to put up the three-pointer. No good. And the rebound is controlled by Dylan Dunn. He will give it to Webb, who's quickly into the front court. Webb's going coast to coast, and uh, it's going to be a late charge. Yeah. I didn't know if they were going to call it from call moment. Drew Haney right there with the hustle play. Set his feet in front of the player. You could tell a silent player had his head down. He was going to the rim no matter what. Crew Webb picks up his first personal foul. Team foul number two against the Panthers here in the first quarter. Just under a minute left in this opening period. Mount Tom up by 15. Yeah, we call this a 1-3-1 one, one extended. I think it's just their 3-2 that's I think extended so. on out. Yeah. They kind of rotate it like a 1-3-1. One, one. So ends keep with it between the circles. Dribbles toward the left side. Now gives it to Dewey. Back to ends keep on the left wing. Down to Uchman in the corner. Down to Haney just outside the lane. Throws it to Dewey at the free throw line. Over to Gilbert on the right side. His three-pointer is up. No good. And the rebound's chased down by Dewey. Mount Tom gets it back with the shot clock off. Ends keep on the, on the left side. I think they're going to be content over the last shot of the period. Yeah, it's going to be our ball to start this uh, start the third quarter. They got a jump ball down here on the turnover. They didn't it didn't go to points, so this is best case scenario for Mountain Home. So ends keep dribbling just in, inside the half court stripe. Down to ten. He'll give it to Gilbert on the right side. He's met by a double team. Down to ends keep in the corner. Down to five. Inskeep will throw it out to Haney. Down to two. He's going to give it to Gilbert. He's going to put up the shot to beat the buzzer. Oh, it just wouldn't go. And we've come to the end of the first quarter. Our first eight minutes are in the books. Our score at the end of one. Mountain Home leading Asylum Springs 20-5. You're listening to Bomber Basketball on Classic Hits 101.7. 
Don't let an injury keep you down. Board certified orthopedic surgeons, Dr. Wen Moore and Dr. Ed Roeder at Baxter Health Bone and Joint Clinic are ready to treat athletes of all ages. Doctors Moore, Roeder, and their staff integrate high quality, compassionate care with innovative treatment and years of experience. Baxter Health Bone and Joint Clinic will get you back to doing what you love. For more information or to schedule an appointment, call 870-424-4710 or visit BaxterHealth.org. Discover the refreshing difference at Baxter Real Estate Company. While they welcome new faces, their agents are seasoned experts in the realm of real estate, particularly the captivating Twin Lakes area. With a treasure trove of knowledge and years of experience under their belts, their team offers unrivaled guidance to fulfill your property dreams. The area is experiencing a rise in listing inventory. Whether buying or selling, trust their experts to navigate the market with finesse. Baxter Real Estate Company, the Twin Lakes area's best choice for local realtors to help you find that perfect property. Well, we'll be Mount Tom's ball to start this second quarter as uh, they lead Salem Springs 25. Great start for the Bombers tonight. Yeah, you know, uh, they, they forced seven turnovers on Salem Springs in that first quarter. And, you know, right now, Salem has no answer for our defense. And, uh, you know, Mount Home's doing a really good job. So we brought in, during that break, we brought in Braxton Carson and Ryder McLean. It's like we're replacing Dewey and Uchman. All right. Ends keep into the front court, drilling to the left side. Gives it down to Haney on the low block, who's by the in the, by the in the lane all by himself for the easy layup. Yeah, it almost looked like Salem went to a 1-3-1 right there. Mountain Home, great little play to give uh, have Drew wide open on the block. Here's Webb with it on the right side. He'll give it there on the uh, wing to uh, to, to uh, Hanson. Well, I'm sorry, that was actually Hooten with it. Now Hanson has it on the left side. He'll throw it out to Allen. Allen with it on the left side. He'll give it out to Webb. Webb dribbles on the right. Ends keep right there on him. Less than 10 left to shoot. Ball is knocked away on the uh, far sideline. They're going to say off of, uh, off of Salem Springs. Mount Tom's going to give back on another turnover. Stuart Schwaniger coming back in for the uh, Panthers as Crew Webb takes a seat. 7-19 left in the first half. Mount Tom with a 17-point lead. Excuse me. Here is uh, McLean with it. Throws it to Gilbert in the front court. Back to McLean. Clay drills toward the left side, gives it to Inskeep near the corner. He's going to pull up for the three-pointer. No good. And the rebound is controlled by Allen. Back comes Silent Springs. Hallbaker quickly across the timeline. He's dribbling into lane. Has the ball knocked away, but they're going to be a call foul against Mountain Home on that one. A reach and foul against Rhett Gilbert. That's his first personal foul. Team foul number one, actually of the night against Mountain Home. They didn't, they didn't commit a foul in that first quarter at all. Red Gilbert, Coben Enskeep, and Drew Haney check out of the game as uh, McGee Harris, Blaine Tate, and I believe Braden Dewey come back in. Yeah, got our starting five back on the floor from Mountain Home. Here is, here is uh, Hooten with it on the right side. Gives it up top to Allen. Now, try to throw it down to Hanson on the paint. Ball knocked away, but Schwaniger is able to keep possession. Schwaniger dribbles into the lane, going up for the layup. A little strong, and the rebound's controlled by Tate. Tate quickly across the timeline. Throws it to McLean in the right corner. He's going to pull up for the three-pointer in and out. And the rebound is uh, controlled by Harris. Mount Tom will keep possession with a fresh 35. Carson Boy, will give it to Tate. That shot for Ryder looked like it was all, but oh my in, goodness, in yeah. there, didn't it? Carson with it up top. Over to Harris on the left side. Tried to throw it to Dewey. Pass was a little wide and high of him. It he goes. says tip. Oh, okay. okay. Blue ball. Yep. Official, yeah, they're going to say it was off, uh, yeah, off Salem Springs. So Mount Tom will keep possession. With 6.19 left to play in the half, 22 left on the shot clock. 22 to 5, Bombers up right now. Tate will trigger the inbound pass on the uh, baseline. Boy, uh, Tim Stewart's pleading his case. He's not going to win that argument, though. Ball goes into the corner to Carson, over to McLean. Now Harris has it. An alley oop layup to Carson, Went, couldn't go, and the rebound's controlled by Schwaninger. So Salem Springs gets away unscathed. Paul Baker into the front court, dribbles to the right side. Now he's going into toward the low block for the uh, for the jumper, no good, and the rebounds controlled by Harris. Ball's with Tate now on the left side. We we'll give it to Harris on the right side, down into in the corner to uh, Carson. He finds Dewey in the lane for the layup, good. Braden Dewey with seven on the night, 24 to five. Mount Tom up, 5:45 left in the half, and Matt Blaine Tate it almost came up with a steal in the backcourt. Watch 10. It should be 10 seconds. Yeah. It should be 10 seconds. That's 10. Yep, there is the 10 second count. And uh, Mountain and uh, South Springs will turn it over again. How many does that make for them? That's nine turnovers already on the night. Wow. 
Mount, Mount Holmes uh, defense is, uh, is uh, working the way it should. Yep, they're doing good. And they're just, I mean, they're getting hands on balls that even in the backcourt, which is one versus two. Ooh. And ball knocked away. They're going to stay off of Mount Holmes. It goes out of bounds, and so that's going to turn over against the Bombers. So it'll be Allen inbounding on the far sideline to Hawbaker. He'll throw it to uh, Hanson, who gets into the front court. Now Hooten has it. He's going to find Schwaniger on the low block. Met by adult team, gives it back to Hooten in the paint. His jumper's blocked, and the ball scrambled for the ball. It's going to be controlled by Hallbaker. He'll throw it out to Schwanger in the right corner. His three-pointer in and out, and the rebound's controlled by Carson. Yep, Hooten down there, he's a, he's the smallest guy on the floor, and Dewey just came over and blocked that shot on him, yep. didn't he? Tate just inside the half-court stripe, throws it to Carson in the right corner, down to Dewey, just outside the lane. He puts up the turnaround jumper in and out, and the rebound is controlled by Hanson. He will throw it to Hooten, who's in the front court. Hooten has it on the left side. Wasn't the paint touch for Dewey, but it was about two foot outside the paint, so we can consider it that almost. Once again, it led to a great shot for Mountain Home. Allen with it. He's going to dribble into the lane, going up for the runner. No good, and the rebound's controlled by McLean. 11th rebound for Mountain Home so far. You know, you get a lot of rebounds, especially when a team's shooting, shooting as bad as uh, he barely get across half court. Yep. Ooh, barely. Yeah. <laughs> Tate with it. Drilling to the left side, gives it there to McLean. McLean will dribble up to the top. Blame is walking the ball up around half court. And Over to Harris in the left corner. Three won't go. Offensive rebound for Dewey. He will throw it back out to McLean. McLean's going to give it to Carson on a low block for the lip. Oh, it won't go. And the rebound's controlled by Hallen. Good look by Braxton. That ball hung on the rim. Thought it was it going It did. Down. Allen with it on the right side. Gives it there to Hanson. He's going to pull up for the three-pointer. No good. And the rebound's controlled by Harris. Kind of an interesting form there. Yeah, it's a little different look. Yeah. A little different shot. Dewey with it, throws it to Carson on the right side. Carson will dribble to the elbow, goes back out to the wing. 345 left in the half. 24 to 5, bombers up. Ball is up top with Dewey. He's going to pull up for the three-pointer. Good. Boom, splash down. Now, Braden Dewey. now he's in double figures with 10. Now it's on with two players in double figures so far. 27 to 5, Mountain Home up. Three and a half minutes left in the first half. Ball is with Schwaninger on the right side. His pass is knocked away and stolen by Tate. He's going to go back all the way for the easy layup. Good. Tenth turnover by Asylums. And I'll tell you, Matt, these turnovers are like this one right here. Just unforced. Wow. One man causing them to, to turn the ball over. There, Yep, another steal in the backcourt as Tate will dribble into the lane, gives it there to Dewey. Go to work, Dewey. Dewey will dribble to the free throw line, throws up top to Carson. Over to McLean on the right side. McLean will dribble up to the top. Now goes over to the left side, gives it there to Tate. Tate's going to throw it back to McLean in the left corner. He's going to pull up for the jumper. No good. And the rebound's controlled by Hallbaker. 2.50 left to play in the half. 29-5, Mountain Home up. Hallbaker going coast to coast for the layup. Good. Nathan Hallbaker, this first two points of the night. Mountain Home kind of lost track of Hallbaker. We turned our back on him, and he just kind of gave a little burst of acceleration to get around us. 2.33 left to play in the half. Mountain Home up by 22. Tate will get by his defender, go in for the layup. Oh, it won't go, but Dewey gets offense rebound, puts it back up and in. Braden Dewey with 12 on the night. So, so does Blaine Tate. 31 to 7, Mountain Elm up. Ball goes to, uh, to Hanson. He dribbles toward the low block, throws it out to Hooten on the left wing. His three pointer is up, no good, and the rebound's controlled by Dewey. And he'll 15 be fouled. rebounds so far for tonight. And then he's fouled in the backcourt. Stuart Schwanger picks up his second personal foul. Need to reset the shot clock here, don't they, Matt? Oh, yes, they do. There, they got it. Yep. Team foul number one against Sam Springs here in the uh, first, uh, in the second quarter, excuse me. Two oh eight left to play in the half. Now to home with the ball, leading by, leading thirty one seven. Now Tom brought in more, uh, some, several substitutions. McLean nice. will throw it behind Drew, Drew Haney in the lane by himself. Well, they're just finding Haney. They're, the d defense is falling asleep on Drew Haney they right are. now. He's got a left-handed, so he likes that left block, and he gets over there by himself, and, and when he does, he doesn't miss. Ball is with Webb, who just checked back in. So did Dylan Dunn. He has up top over on the left side to Hawbaker. Now over to Webb on the right. He drills toward the free throw line. Has the ball knocked away. Stolen by Inskeep. He's back the other way. Going in for the layup. And, oh, oh will not go. And the uh, ball's knocked around. It goes out of bounds. They're going to say off of Salem Springs. Mount Tom will keep it. Yeah, Kobe got caught looking behind him and just didn't slow down enough. And that, that ball just caromed off the front of the rim. 
Eli Mann checked in a moment ago for the first time tonight for the Panthers as well, by the way. Minute and a half left to play in this first half. It is a 33-7 bomber advantage. And to think that we were going to hold them under under double digits this close in the, uh, they're going to call carry. Yep, good call. Yep. So turnover against the Bombers with 119 left in the half. Yeah, Rhett was dribbling the ball. He, he looked like he was going to try to dribble handoff. He tried to fake that dribble handoff and then just kind of throw his dribble down. I think he did hold it just a little long up in the air. Hallbaker across the timeline. Gilbert right there on him. He's trying to get it back. Yep. Ball goes to Dunn. Back to Hallbaker. Back to Dunn. Down the corner to uh, Mann. Over to Hall Baker on the right side to Moore. He's going to pull up for the three-pointer. Good. A.J. Moore with his first three points of the night, and now South Springs is in double digits. 33-10 to 10 our score, 55 seconds left in the half. McLean with it across the timeline, gives it to Gilbert. Back to McLean. He will find Drew Haney. And once again, this time his uh, layup is blocked, and South Springs comes up with the ball. Good look, good pass. Drew went up, just better defensive play. Yep. Moore with it in the right corner. Another three-pointer, good. All of a sudden, A.J. Moore is starting to light it up a little bit. He's got six. 33-13, Mount Tunnel up. Shot clock is off, so Bombers can't hold for the last shot of the half. McLean with it. Tried to throw it down to Haney. Ball is knocked away and stolen by Dunn. Here is Mann dribbling to the left side. Tried to throw it to Hawbaker. Baker. Ball is knocked away by Haney. He couldn't save it in, though. And it will be Silent Springs ball with 11.4 left in the half. Good hustle right there by Drew. So rule of thumb right here, rule of thumb, if you're ever saving a ball, if you can keep it in your head, throw it towards your basket. If Drew saves that ball, throws it all the way down to the other end, it either burns off the clock and they don't get a shot off or we have a chance to do it. But he tried to throw it in there, just stepped on the line, I guess they called it as he, as he did. Man will inbound the ball on the, on the near sideline. Near the corner, ball goes over to Webb on the left wing, up top to Moore. He drills to the left side, down to six. Now gives it near the top to Webb, down to three. Webb will throw it to Moore. He's going to pull up for the three to try to beat the buzzer. This one won't go, and we've come to the end of the first half. Excellent first half by your Bombers. Taking a 20-point lead into the locker room. Our score at the break, Mountain Home leading Salem Springs 33-13. to We'll start the Central Heating and Cooling Halftime Show when we come back. You're listening to Bomber Basketball on Classic Hits 101.7. each of you has had a fantastic week. Many of you know that on Wednesday, Mountain Home was chosen as Arkansas's capital for the day. The district was honored to have the opportunity to host several of the governor's cabinet. Secretary of Education, Jacob Oliva, stopped by our kindergarten center to visit our pre-K classrooms. He got to see some fantastic lessons incorporating early literacy skills. He also spent some time in Ms. Curtis's kindergarten classroom, enjoying 100's Day activities and was so impressed with the creativity in the 100's Day dress up fun. The Secretary of Agriculture, Wes Ford, visited our FFA officers and sponsors and toured our Ag Ed facilities. He was joined by the Secretary of Energy and Environment, Shane Curry. At the end of the day, some of our middle school students who are enrolled in Mr. Pinka's Outdoor Adventures class went fishing with Governor Sanders at the North Fork Fish Hatchery. This is something our kids are going to remember forever. Thanks to all the volunteers who made this activity possible for our kids. It was a fantastic day, and we are so thankful we were able to be part of Arkansas's capital for the day. Happy Groundhog Day, and go Bombers! ASC Warranty is proud to support the Mountain Home Bombers. ASC Warranty provides dealers with vehicle protection plans for any vehicle in their inventory. ASC Warranty's greatest assets are the people that make up the ASC team. The work ethic and dedication to consistently superior services provided by all of their employees are second to none. ASC Warranty is proud to say the Bombers have the same values. ASC Warranty is one of your biggest fans. They will be cheering you on every step of the way. Go Bombers!
realm of real estate, particularly the captivating Twin Lakes area. With a treasure trove of knowledge and years of experience under their belts, their team offers unrivaled guidance to fulfill your property dreams. The area is experiencing a rise in listing inventory. Whether buying or selling, trust their experts to navigate the market with finesse. Baxter Real Estate Company, the Twin Lakes area's best choice for local realtors to help you find that perfect property. Brad, what are you doing? I'm resizing all my boxes. Why? New math. Everyone's doing it. The Big 10 equals 12, the Big 12 equals 18, and the Pac-12 now equals 4. And I have Traeger, Samsung, Sony, and Sonos systems that fit in all kinds of boxes, so I'm resizing. People don't care about your boxes, just the stuff that's in them. Yeah, well, 10 out of 8 people like our big boxes better. Folks, come see all of our different size boxes next to Walmart Mountain Home or at BigBoxBrad.com. Five points. <laughs> The community of Mountain Home continues to be committed to the Bombers, just as Centennial is committed to their customers. Perseverance, commitment, and resilience are key ingredients for success, both on and off the field of play. Whether you are cheering on the Bombers, starting a new business, or planning for the future, Centennial is here for all of life's moments. Let them be your partner. Centennial Bank, member FDIC. Hi, this is Katie. It's basketball season, and Farmers and Merchants Bank is cheering on the Mountain Home Bombers. We applaud the extra effort athletes, coaches, and band members contribute to make our school activities such a fun part of our community. Like you, working as a team to help you reach our goals is Farmers and Merchants Bank's game plan for success. Farmers and Merchants Bank, finally, a bank in your corner. Go Bombers! Member FDIC, an equal housing lender. Since 1965, Harold Tucker Auto Parts has been serving the Twin Lakes area. Thank you, Twin Lakes area. See Harold Tucker Auto Parts for parts both foreign and domestic. From parts for automobiles to parts for mowers, they have custom-built hydraulic hoses and welding supplies, too. Open Monday through Friday, 730 to 530. Harold Tucker Auto Parts, your bumper-to-bumper auto specialist. Family-owned and three generations strong. Harold Tucker Auto Parts, proud to sponsor the Mountain Home Bombers. 810 South Street, Mountain Home, 425-5040. At Knox Orthopedics, they know the pain from an injury demands immediate attention. At Knox, they can fix that. Their four highly qualified physicians, Drs. Knox, Rawls, McConnell, and Franklin, make it their priority to see you as soon as possible. You'll benefit from the best in orthopedic medicine with doctors who really care about getting you back to a life that's pain-free. See them at Number 3 Medical Plaza Mountain Home or during clinic hours at Harrison, Salem, and West Plains. Check them out at knoxorthopedics.com. Use your smile to change the world, but don't let the world change your smile. North Arkansas Dental Group, formerly known as Coleman Family Dentistry, is a proud supporter of Mountain Home Bombers. A family-friendly dental office providing a state-of-the-art clinic, North Arkansas Dental Group is dedicated to you, your health, and especially your smile. Visit us at our new location at 2338 Highway 62 West or call 870-424-4670. Go Bombers! If you are tired of buffering and sketchy service, you need to experience Next, powered by NAEC's fiber optic internet. With service up to one gig, Next Internet is the definition of high speed. Plans start at just $49.95 a month. Subscribe to Next by calling 870-895-3221 or visiting MyNextFiber.com. You may also subscribe by visiting North Arkansas Electric Cooperative's office. Are you building a new house, not sure where the property lines are? Strider Consulting can help. They're a civil engineering and land surveying firm located at 1029 Highway 201 North of Mountain Home. With over 23 years in the business, Strider Consulting has the experience and expertise to bring your project to life. Visit strider.consulting to see their full list of services and request your quote today. Strider Consulting is a proud supporter of Mountain Home Bombers Athletics. Strider Consulting, engineering our future. United Country Real Estate of Mountain Home is the largest seller of rural real estate in the United States. With United Country, you'll find trust and integrity, integral parts of their high standards. As a seller, you'll benefit from United Country's unique and proven marketing system. You owe it to yourself to call the number one team in the nation today at 425-3820. United Country Real Estate, proud supporters of our Mountain Home Bombers. White River Materials has earned a reputation for producing industry-leading high-quality results. 
They have the experience and equipment to perform each project quickly, safely, and cost efficiently. Privately owned and operated White River Materials prides themselves in quality work with the customer's best interest in mind. If you need limestone or concrete products, or someone to do the job correctly the first time, give White River Materials a call today at 425-3431 or 425-4510. When the time comes to consider home care for a loved one, let First Choice Home Care make it a simple and easy process for everyone. With trained PCAs and CNAs, we will treat your loved ones like our family. With 10 offices around the state of Arkansas and award-winning care, let us show you why First Choice Home Care is the best choice. Give us a call today, 870-222-0088, or visit us on the web at www.firstchoicehomecare.net. And as always, go Bombers! ASC Warranty is proud to support the Mountain Home Bombers. ASC Warranty provides dealers with vehicle protection plans for any vehicle in their inventory. ASC Warranty's greatest assets are the people that make up the ASC team. The work ethic and dedication to consistently superior services provided by all of their employees are second to none. ASC Warranty is proud to say the Bombers have the same values. ASC Warranty is one of your biggest fans. They will be cheering you on every step of the way. Go Bombers! Don't let an injury keep you down. Board certified orthopedic surgeons, Dr. Wynn Moore and Dr. Ed Roeder at Baxter Health Bone and Joint Clinic are ready to treat athletes of all ages. Doctors Moore, Roeder and their staff integrate high quality, compassionate care with innovative treatment and years of experience. Baxter Health Bone and Joint Clinic will get you back to doing what you love. For more information or to schedule an appointment, call 870-424-4710 or visit baxterhealth.org. Discover the refreshing difference at Baxter Real Estate Company. While they welcome new faces, their agents are seasoned experts in the realm of real estate, particularly the captivating Twin Lakes area. With a treasure trove of knowledge and years of experience under their belts, their team offers unrivaled guidance to fulfill your property dreams. The area is experiencing a rise in listing inventory. Whether buying or selling, trust their experts to navigate the market with finesse. Baxter Real Estate Company, the Twin Lakes area's best choice for local realtors to help you find that perfect property. As we're back underway. Hall Baker into the front court, gives it to Schwaninger. Now back to Hall Baker. He'll throw it to Allen, down to Moore in the right corner. His three pointers up and in. And Salome, they're going to come out. Mountain Home needs to kind of set the set the tone early in the second half. And uh, as we've faltered the last few games, we need to make sure that we don't let them uh, we don't let them get back in this game. I was almost over back. I'm about to say, yeah. Here is Harris with it. Yeah, AJ Moore kind of picking up where he left off late in the second quarter. There, he's got nine so far. Here is uh, Tate giving it to Harris. Now back to Tate. Tate with it up top. Throws it to McLean near the right corner. Down to 10 on the shot clock. Back to Tate. He'll throw it to Harris. Harris dribbles to the right side. Down to five to shoot. Back to Tate. Tate dribbles into the lane. Tries to throw it to McLean. Ball knocked away and stolen by Hallbaker. Hallbaker with it. Just up there at the top. In between the circles. Gives it to Allen. Now over to Webb. Webb's going to dribble into the lane. Throws it to Schwanger on the right side. Schwanger dribbles into the paint. Gives it up top to Hallbaker. Hallbaker just inside the timeline. 15 left on the shot clock. Ball goes to Allen up top. Over to Webb on the left side. Down to 10. Now finds Hallbaker. He's dribbling into the lane. Has the ball knocked away. Goes out of bounds. Last touch by Carson. And it will be Solomon Springs inbounding on the near sideline with six left to shoot. Good hands there by McGee on the kick out. 6.43, let's play in the third quarter. It is 33-16, Mountain home up on Salem Springs. Webb will inbound it to Hallbaker. Hallbaker dribbling up top, down to three. Hallbaker picks up his dribble, gives it to Schwanger, and they're not no, going to beat the shot no. clock. Yep, good call. So a shot clock violation against Salem Springs and another turnover against the Panthers. Did you mark that one down? <laughs> I got that one. All I right. got that one. All right. <laughs> I was about to mark it down before the shot clock went off, but I was like, that might jinx us. There you go. McLean will uh, get close to the timeline, gives it to Tate. They still got to get into the front court, and they finally do. Here is Carson, has the ball knocked away by Schwanger. Goes out of bounds on the far sideline. Matt Tom will keep possession. 624 left in the third quarter. It's a 17-point bomber advantage. Inbound pass goes to Tate in the backcourt. We'll bring it back across the half-court stripe. Throws it to Carson near the elbow, finds Dewey in the lane for the hook shot, won't go, and the rebound's controlled by Webb. Good look in the paint by Dewey. 
Allen has his pocket picked as Tate goes back the other way, going in for the left. His basket won't go, but he draws foul. The foul, and will head to the free throw line with 6.07 left to play in the third quarter. Yeah, Blaine has probably got the best body control of any teenage kid I've seen, honestly, in a long, long time. Lane Taylor from Farmington might, might be someone that's better than him that I can think of off the top of my head, but Blaine can control his body so well. He can contort it, move it in the air, and still stay under control. So uh, that foul's on Crew Webb, his second personal foul. Team foul number one against Silent Springs. Blaine Tate's first free throw wouldn't go. These are actually the first free throws of the night. From either team? From either team. Tate's second shot is up. Good, he gets one of two. He has 13 on the night. I don't like that. I don't like the trend of that for our Lady Bombers. Yeah. They're saying they're letting them kind of play a little bit. Tate, Tate with another steal in the backcourt, goes in for the lab. Good. I mean, it's just one man going against two, throwing the ball back yeah. and forth, and Blaine's just, yeah, he's probably got three or four steals tonight. Just just him staying between two defense, two offense players. There he is again. Yeah, yeah he's reading those passing lanes perfectly. And gets another steal yep. right off the hands. I mean, it's amazing. 5.43 left as Tate brings it back the other way for the Bombers. Throws over to Harris on the right side. Back up top to Tate. Now he'll give it to Carson. Back to Tate. Tate will throw it to Dewey. Just outside the lane, back to Tate. He's going to pull up for the three-pointer. Banks it in. Yep, I saw that off his hands. That ball looked like it was going to be long the whole way. And here's what's awesome is we can now switch McGee Harris back here. Give Blaine a little bit of breather and let, let McGee do the one on two. And now uh, Silent Springs is going to shoot their first free throws of the night. As it looked like Dewey had a good block, but they're going to say he got a little contact. So it will be Evan Allen at the free throw line for the first time tonight. Brayden Dewey picks up his first personal foul. Team foul number one here in the third quarter against the Bombers. By the way, Blaine Tate with 18 on the night. Evan Allen's first free throw is up and in. That's his first point of the evening. If you're Tim Stewart from Salem Springs, you're just shaking your head. I mean, we're, you're turning the ball over, live ball turnovers on two offensive players and one guy, and it's leading to wide open layups, and that's just frustrating as a coach. Allen's second shot is up. Good. He gets both. He has two points, and he's going to take a seat as it will be uh, Jaden Hooten coming back in for the Panthers. 39-18, Bombers up. 5-15, let's play in the third. Here is Harris with it. Gives it to McLean. Into the front court to Dewey on the right side. He'll give it there to Tate. Tate's going to dribble into the lane, loses the ball off his foot, and it goes out of bounds, and it will be Solomon Springs' ball. 5.05 left in the, in the third quarter. 21-point advantage for Mountain Home. Hall Baker will give it to Hooten, who's into the front court. Hooten dribbles on the left side, gives it there to Moore. Moore, <laughs> Blaine Tate with another read throw on the passing lane, going up for the steal. His layup won't go, but he draws another foul, and he'll go back to the free throw line. And Blaine Tate's just reading those, yeah. uh, those passing lanes perfectly. He's just too. sneaky. He's just kind of standing there and acting like he's not paying attention when they go throw it. He's just popping his hands up and just tipping it to himself. A.J. Moore picks up his first personal foul. Team foul number two against the Panthers. So uh, Blaine Tate so far one of two from the free throw line with 18 points. First shot here is up, rolls around and falls in. It will be uh, Caden Hansen coming in, back in for uh, Psalm Springs as A.J. Moore takes a seat. Be a little nervous about seeing him uh, if I was Tim Stewart the way he's shooting. Yeah, but he's shooting all right, but he's also turning the ball over a lot. That's true. Uh, Tate's second free throw wouldn't go, and the rebound's controlled by Solomon Springs. 40 to 18, our score. Hall Baker across the timeline gives it over to Hooten on the left side. Throws up top to Hanson. Back to Hooten. Over on the left side to Hall Baker. Down to Schwanger just outside the lane. He dribbles to the low block, puts up the turnaround hook shot. It won't go, and the rebound's controlled by Tate. But Tate with a back behind the back dribble. Throws up top to Dewey. Over to Harris on the right side. Down, tried to throw it down to Carson. Ball knocked away. Carson does get it back, though. This time he dribbles it off his foot. It goes out of bounds, and uh, Matt Holmes going to turn it over with 4.14 left to play in the third. Boy, they're letting him, letting him be physical. Mm-hmm. 48-18, Bombers up. Hooten into the front court. Gives it to Webb on the left side. Over to Hawbaker. Hawbaker's going to dribble toward the low block, going up for the layup. Good. Nathan Hawbaker with four on the night. 40 to 20, he bombers up. 356, let's play in the third. Ball goes into the front court to Harris. He's going to pull up for the three-pointer. No good. Rebound's knocked around and controlled by Webb. He'll throw it to Hawbaker. He's quickly back the other way, finding Hooten back to Hawbaker for another layup. Yeah, Coach Fultz are not happy with that quick shot there by 
McGee Harris. We've in control of this game. We've got the lead. There's no reason to go quick. Make them work on the defensive side, and, and uh, let's set up 10 seconds. And a 10 second count. The well, Bombers turn it over again. 3.31, let's play in the uh, third quarter, and I believe Mount Tom's going to take the timeout. Yes, they will. We'll break with 3.31, let's play in the third quarter. It is Mountain Home leading Salem Springs 40-22. to You're listening to Bomber Basketball on Classic Hits 101.7. The community of Mountain Home continues to be committed to the Bombers, just as Centennial is committed to their customers. Perseverance, commitment, and resilience are key ingredients for success, both on and off the field of play. Whether you are cheering on the Bombers, starting a new business, or planning for the future, Centennial is here for all of life's moments. Let them be your partner. Centennial Bank, member FDIC. Hi, this is Katie. It's basketball season, and Farmers and Merchants Bank is cheering on the Mountain Home Bombers. We applaud the extra effort athletes, coaches, and band members contribute to make our school activities such a fun part of our community. Like you, working as a team to help you reach our goals as Farmers and Merchants Bank's game plan for success. Farmers and Merchants Bank. Finally, a bank in your corner. Go Bombers! Member FDIC. An equal... Seven run to end the game, so you got to fix it. And good timeout by Coach Fulcher. So we're back underway with less than three and a half minutes. Let's play in the third quarter. Here is... Uh, uh, Hooten with it gives up top to Hanson. He's going to pull up for the three-pointer. No good, and the rebound's controlled by Uchman, who just checked in uh, during the timeout. He'll give it to McLean, who brings it into the front court. Kobanenski and Red Gilbert also checked in during that during that period. McLean dribbles toward the low block and throws it right to the hands of Hawbaker. He was looking for Inski, but uh, Hawbaker was right there in that passing lane. Hooten with it gives it to Hawbaker. Now back to Hooten. Mountain home in a man-to-man. -man. Over to Webb. He's going to pull up for the three on the right side. Good. Crew Webb with five on the night. And uh, Salm Springs on a little bit of a run. 40-25 to 25 our score. 240 left to play in the third. 8-0 run right here by Salem Springs. Ball is knocked away. Goes out of bounds. Last touch by the Panthers. Mountain home will uh, uh, dodge bullet and avoid a turnover. Bombers will inbound it underneath the basket. Kobaninski will trigger the inbound pass as Mount Tom leads by 15. Inbound pass goes to Dewey in the left corner and out to Uchman. Near the top to McLean. Over to Inskeep on the right side. Cross court to Gilbert on the left. Wow, very close to that near sideline. Ball goes rotated to Uchman and then to Inskeep. Down to 15 on the shot clock. Ball goes up top to Gilbert. Down to 10. Finds Uchman in the paint for the turnaround jumper. No good. And the rebound's controlled by Schwaniger. Don't mind that jumper. It, just, it was a good look, just yep, didn't good fall. Look, good paint touch. And now Hooten, he, wow, great pass from Hanson to Hooten to get that layup. Jaden Hooten with his first two points of the night. It's 40 to 27. Well, Salem Springs is continuing their run. Ball goes into the front court to Uchman. Over to Dewey on the right. Now Tom's got to break that scoring drought. 10 0 run right now by Siloam. Last six possessions, we've My had goodness. two shots, Matt, and four turnovers. My goodness. Here is uh, Inskeep with it, down to 15. Finds Dewey in the lane for the hook shot, no good, and the rebound's knocked around and controlled by Hooten. He'll throw it out to Hanson, who's into the front court. Down in the corner to Webb. He's going to pull up for the three-pointer, won't go, and the rebound's controlled by Dewey. 40 to 27, Mount's home with the ball in the lead. 1-16 left to play in the third quarter. Gilbert with it on the right side. He'll give it up top to McLean. McLean's going to throw it over to Inskeep near the right corner. Down to Dewey on the low block. Thru tries to throw it to Red Gilbert. Ball goes wide of him and out of bounds and another turnover against the Bombers. It's 12 turnovers on the night so far for Mountain Home. A.J. Moore and Evan Allen coming back in for, uh, the, for Salem Springs, replacing uh, Nathan Hawbaker and uh, Caden Hansen, and for Mount Tom, Braden Dewey and Coben Inskeep will take a seat as it will be uh, Blaine Tate and Drew Haney coming back in. 105, let's play in the third quarter. Bombers up by 13. I'm sorry, it was actually Webb that uh, took a seat, not Hansen. Here is uh, Schwaniger with it at the left elbow. He's going to pull up for the jumper, rolls around, won't go. Well, Moore almost had a rebound offensive board there, but uh, it goes to Ryder McLean. 43 seconds left to play in the third. 
McLean will throw it to Uchman near the left corner to Haney. He drills to the top, gives it on the left side to Tate. Now McLean has it on the wing. Up top to Haney. Over to Gilbert. Now on the left side to Tate. On oh, right side to Tate, excuse me. Up top to uh, Uchman. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Gilbert has it on the left side. He's going to dribble to the low block. Put up the fadeaway. Won't go. Haney gets the offensive rebound. He will throw it back out to McLean. The shot clock is off. Mount Tom can hold for the last shot of the period. Ball goes to Haney. To, back to McLean. Loose the handle, but is able to throw it to Gilbert in the left corner. He's going to dribble into the lane for the reverse layup. Good. There we go. Offensive rebound there by Drew Haney leading to a, to a layup. Good job attack by Rhett. And Hooten's going to go coast to coast for the layup. Bounces around, doesn't go. And we've come to the end of the third quarter. Finally, uh, finally stopped that 10-0 run. But yep. great, great take by Rhett Gilbert. Good way to finish as Mountain Home will start this third quarter with the ball. Or fourth quarter, um, excuse me. And a 15-point lead. Uh, we got eight minutes left playing this one. Our score at the end of three. Mountain Home leading Solomon Springs 42-27. to You're listening to Bomber Basketball on Classic Hits 101.7. Don't let an injury keep you down. Board certified orthopedic surgeons, Dr. Wynn Moore and Dr. Ed Roeder at Baxter Health Bone and Joint Clinic are ready to treat athletes of all ages. Doctors Moore, Roeder and their staff integrate high quality, compassionate care with innovative treatment and years of experience. Baxter Health Bone and Joint Clinic will get you back to doing what you love. For more information or to schedule an appointment, call 870-424-4710 or visit baxterhealth.org. Discover the refreshing difference at Baxter Real Estate Company. While they welcome new faces, their agents are seasoned experts in the realm of real estate, particularly the captivating Twin Lakes area. With a treasure trove of knowledge and years of experience under their belts, their team offers unrivaled guidance to fulfill your property dreams. The area is experiencing a rise in listing inventory. Whether buying or selling, trust their experts to navigate the market with finesse. Baxter Real Estate Company, the Twin Lakes area's best choice for local realtors to help you find that perfect property. Uh, they lead uh, South Springs 42 to 27. You got a 27. You got an update there from HB Stewart Arena, don't you? There, yeah, 65 to 38. Greenwood girls just have pouring it on Russellville girls. My goodness, Russellville girls came out the first quarter hot. They were shooting like they did against us, and since then, they've scored 18 points. Blaine Tate with it. He's going to pull up for the three in and out, and the rebound's controlled by Hanson. Blaine Tate has 19 so far to lead all scorers. Here's Schwaninger with it, gives it to Hanson. Hanson will throw it to Hallbaker on the right side. He's going to pull up for the three-pointer, no good. And the rebound's knocked around, controlled by Schwaninger. Throws over to Hanson on the left. He's going to try a three-pointer, and it goes in. Oh, I wish I had a st an ultimate stats matician of how many offensive rebounds lead to wide open threes because oh, they know. get kicked out. Everybody's in the lane, and you kick it out into a step in three and almost another 10 second by Mountain Home. Ball goes to Haney on the low block for the layup, good. Great pass by Blaine Tate. Drew Haney with six on the night. 40 to 30, 44 to 30, Mountain Home up. And we almost, almost came with another steal in the backcourt. Less than seven minutes left in this one. Ball is with Hanson near the top. He'll give it over to Schwaninger. Schwaninger has his pocket picked. Tate comes up with a steal. Back the other way for the layup, good. And, uh, and uh, Blaine Tate with 21 on the night. Blaine is just having his way on the defensive side of the ball. You betcha. Schwaninger into the front court, dribbles on the right side, gives it there to Moore. Moore will dribble up to the top. He'll give, throw it to Hanson. Now to Allen on the, right, on the left side. He's going to go into the lane, has the ball knocked away and stolen by Tate once again. Tate will throw, well, lose handle of the ball, goes out of bounds. And uh, I think he was having trouble to decide if he wanted to go up with it or throw it out to the right corner. Yeah, I think Blaine had something special up his sleeve. He was about to do something right there. It looked like he had that look in his eyes and just couldn't control it. A little over six minutes left to play in this one. 46-30, Bombers up. And Blaine Tate with another steal. He's going to go back the other way. A behind the back pass to Red Gilbert. His lap is blocked, but Dewey's there to get it and put it back up and in. Wow. Brayden Dewey with 14 on the night. And a foul is going to be called. It looks like they're going to get Red Gilbert. Nope, sorry, Braxton Carson with that one. That is uh, his first personal foul, team foul number one here in the fourth quarter against the Bombers. I didn't see what Braxton was doing. Was he the one guarding him up the sideline? I here? thought it was Gilbert. But I did too, yeah. But anyway, here's Hawbaker with that on the left side. He'll give it there to Schwaninger. Schwaninger will dribble up to the top, throws over to Moore on the right. Moore will throw it up, throw it to the top. His pass is knocked away, and uh, Tate saves it into uh, Gilbert. Gilbert's going to pull up for the three, in and out. And uh, Tate with the offensive rebound, 
He's going to try to go up for the layup. Shot's blocked. No foul call. And this. We got carnage on the floor. Boy, no here. kidding. They're going to stop play to let everybody get up. I saw Drew Haney ran into somebody here. Wow, Blaine Tate's just all over the place tonight. You know, not only getting getting steals, but also getting boards. Yeah, he is. And, you know, hate that we couldn't finish that uh, possession yeah. right there. Uh, but, man, I didn't see what happened to Drew. It looked like Drew got hit or yeah, kind of came from behind or something. So he'll check out the game as McGee Harris comes back in. He's pointing at his eye. Looked like he got caught right above the eyebrow. Okay. Here's Hall Baker. Gives it to Allen near near the left elbow. Finds Hall Baker in the lane. Now out to Schwanger in the left corner. His three-pointer good. Stuart Schwanger with six on the night. 48-33. Bombers up. Lower five minutes left. Tate will give it to Gilbert. They still got to get into the front court, and they do. Harris will save it into Dewey. Almost got to, to that far sideline. Carson with it now. Gives up top to Gilbert. Over to Tate. Tate will set the offense up. But not much time. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Tate will dribble to the right side. Takes the screen. Down to five. Tate dribbles into the lane. Throws it to Gilbert on the left wing. For the three-pointer, no good. Offensive rebound for Dewey. He puts it back up and in. Good job, Mountain Home, running all the clock off of the, all of the time off the clock right there, um, and getting the the uh, the rebound put back. Hall Baker dribbles up to the top, gives over on the left side to Webb. Over in the right corner to Allen, he dribbles out to wing, pulls up for the three pointer, good. Evan Allen with his first field goal tonight. He's got five this evening, 50 to 36. Salem Springs hanging tough. They are. They're hitting threes. That's what's helping them a lot. Yep. Four minutes left to play in this one. Gilbert with it, gives it to Harris. Into the front court to Tate. Tate's going to dribble into the paint, pull up for the jumper, won't go. And the rebound is knocked around, controlled by Webb. Well, Salam's gotten hot. Mountain Homes kind of got cold if it wasn't, if it didn't wide open layups. Yeah, that's right. Allen with it, finds a cutting of Hooten. Now throws it to Webb, over to, uh, I'm sorry, to uh, Hawbaker. Now to Webb, his three-pointer is up and in. It's an 11-point game. Drew Webb with uh, eight on the night, and uh, timeout's going to be called, I believe. Or, uh, yep, timeout, Mount Home. Okay, it is going to be Mount Home with the timeout. We'll break with 3.35 left to play in the game. It is Mount Home leading Psalm Springs 50-39. to You're listening to Bomber Basketball on Class Kits 101.7. ASC Warranty is proud to support the Mountain Home Bombers. ASC Warranty provides dealers with vehicle protection plans for any vehicle in their inventory. ASC Warranty's greatest assets are the people that make up the ASC team. The work ethic and dedication to consistently superior services provided by all of their employees are second to none. ASC Warranty is proud to say the Bombers have the same values. ASC Warranty is one of your biggest fans. They will be cheering you on every step of the way. Go Bombers! Don't let an injury keep you down. Board certified orthopedic surgeons, Dr. Wynn Moore and Dr. Ed Roeder at Baxter Health Bone and Joint Clinic are ready to treat athletes of all ages. Doctors Moore, Roeder and their staff integrate high quality, compassionate care with innovative treatment and years of experience. Baxter Health Bone and Joint Clinic will get you back to doing what you love. For more information or to schedule an appointment, call 870-424-4710 or visit baxterhealth.org. Discover the. And this reminder, you're listening to Bomber Basketball on Classic Kits 101.7 KCTT, Yelville Mountain Home. Matt Sharp and Brad Coleman joining you courtside from the Panther Activity Center in Salem Springs. Corey Creighton, our producer, back at the studio. Mountain Home comes out of the timeout with the ball, leading 50 to 39 as uh, McLean's into the front court. He throws to Carson over to Gilbert on the right side, back to McLean. McLean will give it to Inskeep. Inskeep will dribble up to the top. That Los Angeles Springs has hit four three-pointers in this uh, in this fourth quarter, nine altogether. Inski dribbling to the left side, down to 10 on the shot clock, up top to Dewey. Dewey will give to Gilbert on the right side. He'll drill toward the free throw line, down to five. He's going to put up the turnaround jumper, good! Nice shot there by Rhett. Got both feet in the lane, stayed patient, perfect little turnaround to his right side, buried the shot. Red Gilbert with six on the night, 52 to 39. Here is uh, Hooten with on the right side. He dribbles to the elbow, gives up top to Webb. Webb will dribble on the right wing, goes into the lane, now throws up top to Hawbaker, over on the left side to Hooten. 15 left to shoot, up top to Allen, over to Schwaninger on the left side, now to Hawbaker, 10 left on the shot clock. He's dribbling to the lane, going in for the left, in and out, but he draws contact, and they'll head to the free throw line with 231 left in the game. Kobaninski picks up his first personal foul. That is the second team foul against the Bombers here in the fourth quarter. 
So Nathan Hawbaker at the free throw line for the first time tonight. He has six so far this evening. First shot is up and good. Cole Pittman coming in for the first time tonight, I believe, for uh, Silent Springs as he replaces Crew Webb. Cole Pittman, a six-foot sophomore. Second shot for Hawbaker is up, and he gets both. Eight on the night for Nathan Hawbaker. 52 to 41, Bombers up. About two and a half left in this, uh, in this contest. Gilbert throws it to McLean, who gets into the front court. Back up top to Gilbert. Gilbert, ooh, very close to that mid-court strike. Now he'll draw, draw a little contact. Got to help get into that mid-court strike. Yeah. Cole Pittman picks up his first personal foul. First team foul against the Panthers here in the fourth quarter. 2.17 left to play. Silent Springs still has three more fouls to give before, uh, before Mountain Home gets into the bonus. Gilbert takes the inbound pass, throws into the front court to Enskeep, has the ball knocked away, and Hallbaker comes up with a steal. That's a 14th turnover for Mountain Home. There's Solom setting at 18, and we're at 14. We're not far behind them. Schweiger for the three-pointer. This one won't go. Allen with the offensive rebound, put it back up and in, and it's a single-digit margin now. Evan Allen with seven on the night. 52 to 43, Bombers up, 150 left. Here is McLean giving it to Gilbert, back to McLean. He'll get it across the timeline. Trying to avoid a double team. Throws it to Gilbert. Now to Carson. Ball is knocked away. And Carson's able to chase it down and avoid a turnover. Throws it to Dewey on the right side. He's going in for the layup. Good. Good job right there, Braden Dewey. Boy, that was an all out of a sink uh, offensive <laughs> possession. And the ball happened to fall in Dewey's hands. And he wisely took it to the rim. He's got 18 on the night. Back to a double digit lead for Mountain Home. 54 to 43, our score. Now fouls will be called against Mountain Home. Solomon Springs went on the baseline with 120 left. They're going to get Carson with that one? They are. Yep. Max Braxton Carson, second personal foul. 13th foul against uh, Mountain Home, so uh, they have one more foul to give. So it will be Hallbaker inbounding it underneath the basket. Trying to figure out where to go with it. He will throw it into the backcourt to Hooten. He'll chase it down. Not a bad idea, really. No, yeah. But, but, I mean, it wasted four seconds off the clock, so good job by Mountain Home's defense to make them throw it back there. Well, that's true. Ball goes over to Allen on the left side. Allen's going to dribble into the lane. Put up the jumper. Good. Evan Allen with nine. Seven of those here in the fourth quarter alone. Back to a single-digit margin. Less than a minute left to play. And Mountain Home almost turns it over. Ball goes Ooh. into the front court. The ball is with Dewey. How long does Sound Springs wait? They've won't, they still have three more fouls to give. Yeah, they got to start fouling. Here yep. it is. There it is. So they're going to get, I believe, uh, yep, Jaden Hooten with his first personal foul. Second team foul against the Panthers here in the fourth quarter. He'll check out of the game and be replaced by A.J. Moore. 47 seconds left as McLean will inbound the ball on the far sideline. Gets into Blaine Tate, who just checked back in. Gives it to Dewey. He'll be fouled before the shot. Evan Allen picks up his first personal foul. 13 foul against uh, Solomon Springs, so they still have one more foul to give with 45.1 left. Tate will inbound the ball on the baseline. Gets into McLean in the right corner, near the top to Dewey. And now there's the last foul as uh, Stuart Schwaninger picks up his third personal foul, 14 foul against the Panthers. So the next one will put Mount Tom at the free throw line. 42.6 left in the game. And now uh, Silent Springs is going to take the timeout. We'll break with 42.6 left. It is Mountain Home leading Solemn Springs 54 to 45. You're listening to Bomber Basketball on Classic Hits 101.7. When the time comes to consider home care for a loved one, let First Choice Home Care make it a simple and easy process for everyone. With trained PCAs and CNAs, we will treat your loved ones like our family. With 10 offices around the state of Arkansas and award-winning care, let us show you why First Choice Home Care is the best choice. Give us a call today, 870-222-0088, or visit us on the web at www.firstchoicehomecare.net. And as always, go Bombers. 
ASC Warranty is proud to support the Mountain Home Bombers. ASC Warranty provides dealers with vehicle protection plans for any vehicle in their inventory. ASC Warranty's greatest assets are the people that make up the ASC team. The work ethic and dedication to consistently superior services provided by all of their employees are second to none. ASC Warranty is proud to say the Bombers have the same values. ASC Warranty is one of your biggest fans. They will be cheering you on every step of the way. Go Bombers! Order and you know we let them make it have another run like we have so we got to figure out a way to fix that good teams are going to keep the pressure on you yep it will be Ryder McLean buying the ball on the far sideline he will throw it into Dewey and there's the foul by Nathan Hawbaker that's his first personal foul now Tom's down the bonus so Brayden Dewey will be at the free throw line for the first time tonight got a score from Greenwood with two minutes left in the game. 84 to 53, Greenwood is beating Russellville. Oh, a mercy rule. Okay. Mercy rule is in effect. Wow. Quite a different <laughs> story from for the Lady Cyclones from Tuesday night. Yeah, they, they – uh, it was a perfect storm Tuesday night at the Lady Cyclones. Yeah, it was. They couldn't miss. And it was kind of like the boys' game when they went to Van Buren, right? We didn't play very clean, and they played really good, and that's what happens. Dewey's uh, first free throw up, no good. Stuart Schwanger comes back in as Cole Pittman takes a seat. So Dewey with one more free throw to shoot. Second shot is up. And he gets the second, one of two. He now has 19 on the night. Back, it's back to a 10-point lead. Here is, no. wow, A.J. Moore pulling up for the three. Wouldn't go, but he draws contact, and he's going to the line for three free throws with 36.7 left. Hey, you do not want to do that. No, and, and Dewey, Dewey's kind of shaking his head. I didn't see if he made contact or not or if the guy flopped, but, hey, credit to them. If you're going to be over there and you're going to try to get the benefit of the call, that's what you got to do. That's Braden Dewey's second personal foul, fourth team foul against Mount Home here in the fourth quarter. A.J. Moore's first free throw of the night is up and in, so he's now in double figures. We miss one, make one of two on one end, and they're going to come down and hit a, potentially three free throws when he missed that one. So. Yeah, I did miss a second. Uh, Jaden Hooten and Cole Pittman coming back in for Salm Springs, replacing uh, Jaden Hans, Caden Hansen, excuse me, and uh, Stuart Schwanger. Kind of an offense for defense substitution there. So Moore's third free throw is up. Good, he gets two or three. He's now he's got 11. 55-47, Mountain Home up. 36.7 left. Inbound pass goes to Tate. As the ball knocked away, it's going to be a foul call, though, against uh, Silent Springs. So Blaine Tate's going to the free throw line. I was about to say, can you wait if you're Silent to try to get a 10-second count? They had us in a bad spot, but do you allow 10 seconds to come off the clock? I don't think so. I think that's the right play. you got to try to get the steal, and if you get the foul, you get the foul and extend this game. Cole Pittman with his second personal foul. Again, now Tom already in the bonus. So Blaine Tate is free throw line right now. He is 2 of 4 from the charity stripe with 21. First shot is up. Good. So if he gets this next one, it'll be back to a four-possession game and a double-digit lead. The big thing about that one is even if they go down and hit a three right now, it remains a two-possession game. I guess it would anyways, but it would even after that three, right? Yeah. So. Second shot for Tate is up. No good. He gets one of two, and the rebound's controlled by Solomon Springs. 56-47. Remains a three-possession game. Solomon's got to go quick. Mountain Home doing a good job, and Blaine is all over their point guard. Shot clock is off. Down to 24. Ball's knocked away. Uh, foul call, though, against Mountain Home. So that's going to put Solomon Springs at the free throw line. Braden Dewey picks up his third personal foul. Fifth team foul against the Bombers. So it'll be Stuart Schwaninger at the free throw line, where so far he is 2-2 of two with eight points. That's not what you want to do. You don't want to get them to the line and let them shoot free throws without the, without the clock going off. We made them burn 10 seconds to in that possession. It was 33 seconds when Blaine was shooting his free throws and felt like we bailed them out by fouling them. Schwaninger's first free throw is up. Good. Nathan Hawbaker and Cole Pittman coming back in for Psalm Springs as Evan Allen. I'm sorry, actually, uh, uh, Caden, Caden Hansen. We'll take a seat, and I didn't see who else checked out of the game. Second free throw for uh, for uh, Schwager, pure on them. It's down to seven-point game. Mountain Home's going to have to hit some free throws. Ryder can run the sideline, the baseline right here if he needs to. So, ball goes in. It's a 56-49 lead. Ball is over to Carson and a stoppage of play. A foul away from the ball? Yeah, they're going to get. I think they're going to say that. 
They're going to get a foul 21, maybe. Yep. That is Nathan Hallbaker's second personal foul. So, Red Gilbert's going to be at the free throw line for the first time tonight. He's got six points so far this evening. 17.6 left as Gilbert's first free throw is no good. Oh, Mountain Home got to make some free throws. Yep. Stuart Schweiger coming back in for the uh, Panthers. So, uh, so is uh, Caden Hansen. Rhett's a 70% free throw shooter on the year. One more free throw to shoot for Gilbert is up. Good. He gets one or two. He's got seven on the night. 57-49. Hawbaker into the front court. Has the ball knocked away and stolen by Tate. Fitting way, right, Matt, for Blaine? You bet. He's going to find McLean for the layup. Good. Yeah, fitting way to end this game. Blaine Tate with a steal like he's been doing all night. Schwanger back the other way for the three-pointer. No good. And Mount Tom's going to get the 10-point victory with that with, with, with an exclamation point. Yep. Blaine Tate was a difference maker tonight for the Bombers. He sure was. We'll come back and start the Baxter Health Bone and Joint Clinic postgame show in just a moment. Our final score, Matt Tom defeats Solomon Springs 59 to 49. You're listening to Bomber Basketball on Classic Hits 101.7. Don't let an injury keep you down. Board certified orthopedic surgeons, Dr. Wynn Moore and Dr. Ed Roeder at Baxter Health Bone and Joint Clinic are ready to treat athletes of all ages. Doctors Moore, Roeder and their staff integrate high quality, compassionate care with innovative treatment and years of experience. Baxter Health Bone and Joint Clinic will get you back to doing what you love. For more information or to schedule an appointment, call 870-424-4710 or visit baxterhealth.org. Discover the refreshing difference at Baxter Real Estate Company. While they welcome new faces, their agents are seasoned experts in the realm of real estate, particularly the captivating Twin Lakes area. With a treasure trove of knowledge and years of experience under their belts, their team offers unrivaled guidance to fulfill your property dreams. The area is experiencing a rise in listing inventory. Whether buying or selling, trust their experts to navigate the market with finesse. Baxter Real Estate Company, the Twin Lakes area's best choice for local realtors to help you find that perfect property. Brad, what are you doing? I'm resizing all my boxes. Why? New math. Everyone's doing it. The Big 10 equals 12, the Big 12 equals 18, and the Pac-12 now equals 4. And I have Traeger, Samsung, Sony, and Sonos systems that fit in all kinds of boxes, so I'm resizing. People don't care about your boxes, just the stuff that's in them. Yeah, well, 10 out of 8 people like our big boxes better. Folks, come see all of our different size boxes next to Walmart Mountain Home or at BigBoxBrad.com. Five points. <laughs> The community of Mountain Home continues to be committed to the Bombers, just as Centennial is committed to their customers. Perseverance, commitment, and resilience are key ingredients for success, both on and off the field of play. Whether you are cheering on the Bombers, starting a new business, or planning for the future, Centennial is here for all of life's moments. Let them be your partner. Centennial Bank, member FDIC. Hi, this is Katie. It's basketball season, and Farmers and Merchants Bank is cheering on the Mountain Home Bombers. We applaud the extra effort athletes, coaches, and band members contribute to make our school activities such a fun part of our community. 
like you, working as a team to help you reach our goals as Farmers and Merchants Bank's game plan for success. Farmers and Merchants Bank, finally, a bank in your corner. Go Bombers! Member FDIC, an equal housing lender. Since 1965, Harold Tucker Auto Parts has been serving the Twin Lakes area. Thank you, Twin Lakes area. See Harold Tucker Auto Parts for parts both foreign and domestic. From parts for automobiles to parts for mowers, they have custom-built hydraulic hoses and welding supplies, too. Open Monday through Friday, 7.30 to 5.30. Harold Tucker Auto Parts, your bumper-to-bumper -bumper auto specialist. Family-owned and three generations strong. Harold Tucker Auto Parts, proud to sponsor the Mountain Home Bombers. 810 South Street, Mountain Home, 425-5040. At Knox Orthopedics, they know the pain from an injury demands immediate attention. At Knox, they can fix that. Their four highly qualified physicians, Drs. Knox, Rawls, McConnell, and Franklin, make it their priority to see you as soon as possible. You'll benefit from the best in orthopedic medicine with doctors who really care about getting you back to a life that's pain-free. See them at Number 3 Medical Plaza Mountain Home or during clinic hours at Harrison, Salem, and West Plains. Check them out at knoxorthopedics.com. Use your smile to change the world, but don't let the world change your smile. North Arkansas Dental Group, formerly known as Coleman Family Dentistry, is a proud supporter of Mountain Home Bombers. A family-friendly dental office providing a state-of-the-art clinic, North Arkansas Dental Group is dedicated to you, your health, and especially your smile. Visit us at our new location at 2338 Highway 62 West or call 870-424-4670. Go Bombers! If you are tired of buffering and sketchy service, you need to experience Next, powered by NAEC's fiber optic internet. With service up to one gig, Next Internet is the definition of high speed. Plans start at just $49.95 a month. Subscribe to Next by calling 870-895-3221 or visiting MyNextFiber.com. You may also subscribe by visiting North Arkansas Electric Cooperative's office. Are you building a new house, not sure where the property lines are? Strider Consulting can help. They're a civil engineering and land surveying firm located at 1029 Highway 201 North of Mountain Home. With over 23 years in the business, Strider Consulting has the experience and expertise to bring your project to life. Visit strider.consulting to see their full list of services and request your quote today. Strider Consulting is a proud supporter of Mountain Home Bombers Athletics. Strider Consulting, engineering our future. United Country Real Estate of Mountain Home is the largest seller of rural real estate in the United States. With United Country, you'll find trust and integrity, integral parts of their high standards. As a seller, you'll benefit from United Country's unique and proven marketing system. You owe it to yourself to call the number one team in the nation today at 425-3820. United Country Real Estate, proud supporters of our Mountain Home Bombers. White River Materials has earned a reputation for producing industry-leading high-quality results. They have the experience and equipment to perform each project quickly, safely, and cost-efficiently. Privately owned and operated White River Materials prides themselves in quality work with the customer's best interest in mind. If you need limestone or concrete products, or someone to do the job correctly the first time, give White River Materials a call today at 425-3431 or 425-4510. When the time comes to consider home care for a loved one, let First Choice Home Care make it a simple and easy process for everyone. With trained PCAs and CNAs, we will treat your loved ones like our family. With 10 offices around the state of Arkansas and award-winning care, let us show you why First Choice Home Care is the best choice. Give us a call today, 870-222-0088, or visit us on the web at www.firstchoicehomecare.net. And as always, Go Bombers! ASC Warranty is proud to support the Mountain Home Bombers. ASC Warranty provides dealers with vehicle protection plans for any vehicle in their inventory. ASC Warranty's greatest assets are the people that make up the ASC team. The work ethic and dedication to consistently superior services provided by all of their employees are second to none. ASC Warranty is proud to say the Bombers have the same values. ASC Warranty is one of your biggest fans. They will be cheering you on every step of the way. Go Bombers! Don't let an injury keep you down. Board certified. At a loss to Russellville, 72 to 43. 
Salem Springs currently 8-14 and 0-7 and and as uh, so looking for their first uh, conference win of the season. The Lady Panthers uh, suffered a uh, loss to Harrison la- last Friday, 43-36. We're going to take a break, come back with uh, more of the uh, Baxter Health Bone and Joint Clinic uh, pregame show in just a moment. As Matt's home gets ready to play Salem Springs in this girls matchup, you're listening to Lady Bomber Basketball on Classic Hits 101.7. Tom's girls getting ready to take on uh, Salem Springs here uh, here tonight at the pack and uh, try to spoil Salem Springs homecoming night. Uh, let's uh, remind you of the officials. Introduction to tonight's officials brought to you by the Baxter Health Bone Joint Clinic for all your orthopedic needs. Stop by and see Dr. Moore and Dr. Roeder at the uh, Baxter Health uh, Bone and Joint Clinic. Uh, again, we've got uh, Dwayne Fox as the referee and our two umpires are Jaron Harris and Eric Carlson. Let's take a look at uh, tonight's starting lineups. First off, for the Lady Bombers in their row blues, coached by uh, Dell Leonard. Uh, they'll be going with uh, Parker Husky, a 5'8 senior. She'll be joined by three juniors, Anna McCarn at 6'4", Lakin Moore at 6 foot, and Bailey Rittenberg at 5'7". And then rounding out starting lineup for Mount's home is uh, Jayla Yonkers, a 5'10 sophomore. Solomon Springs in their home whites, coached by uh, Bo Tillery. They'll be going with uh, one senior, Emily Keene, one junior, Cadence Pretergast, uh, one sophomore, Kenzie Johnson, and two freshmen, Morgan Jones and Erica Ellis. Well, that's going to wrap up the Baxter Health Bone Joint Clinic pregame show. We're going to take one more break, come back, and get this game tipped off in just a minute. It is Mountain Home and Solomon Springs coming up next. You're listening to Lady Bomber Basketball on Classic Hits 101.7. Uh, one minute. Getting ready to have the opening tip-off brought to you by Clear Results Glass. It will be Anna McCarn jumping center for Mountain Home. Cadence Pretergrass will try to win the tip for Salem Springs. Matt Sharp joined by Brad Coleman once again as Mountain Home wins the tip. They are moving left to right in this first half. Mountain Home needs a quick start. We, we, I think we're up 30-3 to three on them at home uh, starting off. It looks like they're going to start in a 1-3-1. And uh, the shot clock didn't shot start. clock didn't start. Imagine that. <laughs> Some shot clock issues. Yeah. So let's do the simple math. There's 11 seconds ran off, so it should be 24 on shot clock, right? 
Yeah, well, it depends on when we. Yeah, say when, when they when they when they exactly controlled it. Inbound pass goes to uh, Yonkers. We're back underway. I mean, it goes to, to from Yonkers into Husky. Now she'll give it up top to Moore. Moore throw it over to Yonkers on the left side, down to McCarn on a low block. She put, goes into the lane, puts up the turnaround jumper, no good. Gets her own rebound, puts it back up. She'll be fouled on the way up and head to the free throw line as we're 26 seconds into the contest. Mountain Home has a huge, and when I say huge, it's probably seven inches or better height advantage down low uh, with Anna McCarn, and she did a really good job. First shot almost looked like it was going to go down. She's a really good job of being patient, and uh, second one just went and got her own offensive rebound. McCarn hits the first free throw as Mount Home strikes first. That fouls on uh, Preter Gass. That's her first personal foul. Team foul number one against the Lady Panthers. Uh, McCarn getting, couldn't get the second free throw, but Moore gets offense rebound. She'll be fouled on the way up, and she'll head to the free throw line. Yeah, that's what Mount Home needs to do. They just need to just show their dominance early, and let's have an easy, fun game. Eric Ellis picks up her first personal foul. Team foul number two against the Lady Panthers. So Lake and Moore at the free throw line. First shot is up and good. We are 30 seconds into this contest as Moore will have one more to shoot. Second shot is up, and she gets both. Look for Mountain Home to uh, extend their full court pressure. It's just going to be a man, and um, we're going to uh, try to get some easy steals and, and some less. That's what we got them in trouble with when we played them at home. Three to nothing, Mountain Home up, all from the free throw line so far. Here is Jones with it on the left side. She'll give it up top to Preter Gass. Now to Johnson over on the right side to Keene. She's going to put up the long three-pointer. No good. And the rebound of oh, McCarn had it for a moment, and uh, she uh, but she lost her footing and then went out of bounds. She was going out of bounds, and she tried her best to throw it off a Siloam player. Um, but then when she threw it off the player, it bounced right back into her lap, sitting out of bounds. So Siloam Springs will inbound it with 7.09. Let's play into the first quarter. Inbound pass goes to Keene on the left side. She will give there on the wing to Jones. Up top now to uh, uh, Ellis over on the left side to Jones. She's going to pull up for the three-pointer. No good. And the rebound is uh, being fought for and controlled by Yonkers. Good box out by Jay right there. Ball goes over to Rittenberg on the left side. She'll give it back up top to Yonkers. Now to Husky. Man to man here by Siloam. Now they're in a the zone. Now they're in a the zone. Yeah, yep. they're in a zone. Yep. Yonkers going to pull up for the long three-pointer. No good. And the rebound is controlled by Keene. Jayla's been struggling with her shot a little bit. We'll see her maybe step in just a little closer on that one. We would need her to get going, but she's one that can pour in a bunch in a short period of time. Keene's going to try a three in the left corner. This one won't go, and the rebound is going to be chased down by uh, Jones, and South Springs will keep possession. Keene with it up top. Throws over on the right side to Jones. Jones dribble up to the top, throws, gives over on the left side to Johnson. Johnson will dribble up between the circles, finds Preter Gass near the left elbow. Up top now to Ellis. Over to uh, Jones in the right corner, 10 left on the shot clock. Jones will give it up top to Keene. Keene dribbles on the right side, going towards the low block. Her layup was blocked by McCarn, and she comes up with the ball. Great job, Anna, with help defense coming over, using that long wingspan, got somebody coming behind us, a foul, yep. Yeah, Emily Keene just got a little too aggressive there, fouled her from uh, Parker Husky from behind. That's Keene's first personal foul. Team foul number three against uh, Salem Springs, so they only got one more foul left to give in this quarter. Yeah, that's that's big right now with 549. They're already at three fouls. Mount Home's good free throw shooting team. Don't put us to the line. Three nothing, Mount Home with the ball on the lead. Husky dribbles on the right side, gives it to McCarn at the elbow, up top to Moore, over to Rittenberg on the left. She dribbles toward the low block, Great pass. finds McCarn for the layup, good. Great ball movement, really good pass by Bailey Rittenberg. Early in the year, you would see her pull that jump shot up, and a great job sealing off Bailey, hit her perfect. McCarn with three on the night. 5 nothing. Mount Home up. 5.24 left in the opening period. Preter Gass with it on the left wing. Trying to figure out where to go with it. Gives it to, to uh, uh, Johnson near the left corner. Up top to Ellis. Her three-pointer almost banked in. And the offensive rebound for Keene. She throws it to uh, Jones. She'll be fouled from behind. Uh, she goes up, and she'll head to the free throw line with 5.10 left in the first quarter. Good job boxing out. Ball just bounced out of our hands into Siloam's. Keen, the senior, with a good drop down pass. Good job by Jayla, though, not giving up the wide open layup, making her earn it from the line. That's Yonkers' first personal foul, team foul number one against the Lady Bombers. So it will be uh, Morgan Jones at the free throw line. First shot is up and in, and so Silent Springs is on the board for the first time tonight. So one more free throw for Jones. Second shot is up, and she gets both. Morgan Jones with two on the night. Five to two, Lady Bombers up. Again, 5-10 left in the first quarter. Husky walked the ball into the front court. 
Throws it to Moore in the left corner. She's going to pull up for the three-pointer. No good. And the ball's knocked out of bounds. They're going to say off of Rittenberg? No way. No way. They're keeping it here. No, okay. They're, it's going to stay with Mouse. Say, no. There's no <laughs> way. Team might just draw, watch it fall out of her hands out yeah. of bounds. So Moore will inbound the ball on the baseline. Gives it to Yonkers. Back to Moore in the right corner. Out to Rittenberg. Rittenberg near the top. What's that, Buck? Her pass is stolen by Keene. Keene quickly back the other way after getting the steal. Going in for the lap. Won't go, but she draws contact. And she'll head to the free throw line of 451. Let's play in the opening period. Emily, uh, Bailey Redberg picks up her first personal foul, team foul number two against the Lady Bombers. So Emily Keene at the free throw line for the first time tonight. First shot is up and in. So far it's only been one field goal. All the rest of the points have been free throws. Yep. You know, Mountain Home, we just got to get our offense going. We've struggled shooting the ball the last few games. We've had three games where we hadn't played well. We've won two of the three. We need to get off to a quick start. Keen second shot wouldn't go. She gets one or two, and the rebound comes to Mountain Home. Five to three, Mountain Home up right now. Here is uh, Yonkers with it. Gives it to Husky. Back to Yonkers. To Rittenberg in the lane. Trying to figure out where to go with it. Now gets it back up top to Yonkers. Over, tried to throw it back over to Moore. Keen right there to knock it away and get the steal. She's going to go back for the layup. Good. And we got our first tie of the night. One thing we can't do is we cannot have Jayla being scared to shoot the ball. She is one of our scorers. She had that three at the top of the key. You want to see her shoot that instead of try to pass that out of there. Rittenberg with it on the right side. We're tied at five right now with 4-12. Moore will uh, try to break the tie with a three. Won't go, though. Offense rebound from McCarn. She goes back up with it off the glass and in. That's what we love Anna McCarn about. She just went and got that rebound. When things get, when things get out of control, Mount Home needs to settle down, get the ball inside because we have the advantage down low. 7-5, Mountain Home up, 3.53, let's play in the uh, first uh, quarter, and uh, Cassano Springs is going to turn it over as uh, the pass was out of the reach of Predergast. Sarah Williams coming in for Mountain Home, replacing uh, Bailey Rittenberg. Williams, a 5'7", uh, excuse me, a 5'9", a junior, and I believe uh, I believe uh, Salem Springs brought in a sub as well. Yeah, 34 came out for them, and looks like maybe down here is it – Who's this, 22 down here or two can't, on the bottom? I can't tell right now. I can't see the number. I think 12. it's 12. Okay. So that's uh, so the, so that's uh, Bionne Quinones. Ball goes to Yonkers yeah. in the, on the low block for, for the jumper. Good. That's what we need. We need Jay to get her feet in the paint, get a bucket, see a bucket go down. Like I said, Jayla and Lakin are our two scores. Jayla's been a little tentative. She's had some tough times getting shot to fall. We don't need her to be passive. We need her to be aggressive. Ellis with it on the left, right side. She will give it there to Jones. Jones will dribble in the corner. Back to Ellis on the wing. Ellis going into low block. Her layup is blocked by McCarn, and Williams comes up with the ball from out to home. Anna's on a different level right now on defense and her help. Yonkers going to pull up for the three on the right side. No good. And the rebound's controlled by Keene. Still keep shooting it. We still want to see that ball fly. 9-5. to five, Bombers up. Two, Lady Bombers up. 2.56 left to play in the opening quarter. Keene with it up top. Throws over on the right side to Jones. Now up top to Canones. Finds a cutting Keen into the lane. Now her pass is knocked away and stolen by Moore. Moore quickly back the other way, going into the lane for the layup. It to roll, rolls around, falls in, and she draws a foul. Great body control. Lakin with a little Euro step, finishing on the left side. She went to the right. Nice Euro step on the left. Scoop shot, took the hoop in the arm. Foul is on Eric Ellis, her second personal foul. Team foul number four against Silent Springs. Man, that ball just hung on there for a while. Yep. Looks like uh, Morgan Jones and Eric Ellis checking out of the game. Free throw for uh, Moore wouldn't go, and the rebound's controlled by Salem Springs. That was uh, that was actually Aston Pilcher that got that rebound. She just checked in before that free throw, and uh, Canones is able to save it in right to Emily Keen on the left side. That back to Canones. She gets the layup good. Yanni Canones with her first two points of the night. 11 to seven, Mounts home up. 2:19 left in the opening period. 3-2 zone now here by Siloam. Here is uh, Yonkers giving it to Williams. Finding Yonkers cutting into the lane for the layup. Won't go. And the rebound is controlled by uh, Pilcher. Pilcher throws it into the front court to Johnson on the left side. She finds uh, Canones going in for the layup. Good. Back-to-back -back layups for Canones. And it's uh, back to a two-point game. Here is uh, Husky finding Williams in the left corner for the three-pointer. No good. And Keen gets the rebound. She'll be fouled in the backcourt. Jayla Yonkers picks up her second personal foul. Team foul number three against Mountain Home here in the first quarter. 
So she'll, so Anna McCarr is going to come out of the game as uh, Libby Foss comes in for the first time tonight. Also for uh, Salem Springs, Natalie Prez just checks in. And Bailey Redenberg is going to come back in as, again, uh, Jayla Yonkers picked up her second foul a moment ago. She'll take a seat. I was curious if I knew that Jayla had two, but good, yeah. good pick up by our coaching staff. Now we're going to see this full court press. If we can speed Salem up a little bit. Ball is with uh, Keen on the right side. She'll give it down in the corner to Canones. She dribbles near the baseline, throws it over to Pilcher on the right side. Pilcher dribbles in the corner. His, her pass is stolen by Husky. Back comes Mountain Home. Need to get a bucket here. Kind of been on a little bit of drought. Need to get a good bucket. Ball goes to Williams in the left corner. To Moore on the wing. Back to Williams. She's going to try another three-pointer. This one won't go. And Moore gets offensive rebound. She'll throw it out to Husky. She's going to try for the three-pointer. No good. Offensive rebound for, well, well Foss has had for a moment. But Canonez just ripped it out of her hands. Yep, kind of jump ball there. Fight for Wharton. Canonez went and got it. One minute left to play in this uh, first quarter as Mount Tom has a two-point lead. Keen dribbling into the lane, almost lost the ball, but it's able to throw it out to Pilcher. Up top now it goes to Perez. Perez will find a, try to throw it to Johnson or to Canones. She'll be fouled from behind. 46.6 seconds left to play in the first quarter as Parker Husky picks up her first personal foul. That's the last foul Mount Tom has to give this quarter. It's a two-point Mount Tom advantage right now. Pilcher will inbound the ball on the baseline. Gets it into Perez on the right side. Back to Pilcher in the corner. She'll dribble out to the wing. She'll dribble up to the top now. Throws up to Canones in the left corner. Back up top to Pilcher. Finds a cutting Keen and, and she couldn't get the layup to go. And the rebound's controlled by Fossis. Keen just a little too far underneath the basket there. Rittenberg with it on the right side. Up top to Husky. Shot clock is off, so Mount Stone could hold for the last shot of the period if they choose. Moore with it, gives it to Williams. Thought about three instead. She'll dribble out to the lane, gives it up top to Rittenberg. Rittenberg's going to dribble into the lane, going in for the layup. It rolls around and falls in. Looks like Bailey was going to pass the ball and then decided yeah, no. the last second to shoot it. May got her arm grabbed too. Way to finish through contact. Her first two points of the night. Keen with it. Down to two seconds. She is going to try to beat the buzzer with a long three. Oh, that guy's close. Down, yep. But it's going to be a four-point lead for Mountain Home after our first eight minutes of play. Our score at the end of one, Mountain Home leading Salem Springs 13-9. You're listening to Lady Bomber Basketball on Classic Hits 101.7. Use your smile to change the world, but don't let the world change your smile. North Arkansas Dental Group, formerly known as Coleman Family Dentistry, is a proud supporter of Mountain Home Bombers. A family-friendly dental office providing a state-of-the-art clinic, North Arkansas Dental Group is dedicated to you, your health, and especially your smile. Visit us at our new location at 2338 Highway 62 West or call 870-424-4670. Go Bombers. If you are tired of buffering and sketchy service, you need to experience Next, powered by NAEC's fiber optic internet. With service up to one gig, Next Internet is the definition of high speed. Plans start at just $49.95 a month. Subscribe to Next by calling 870-895-3221 or visiting MyNextFiber.com. You may also... Tenom has the 13-9 uh, lead here at the Panther Activity Center. The pack is also what it's known as. Inbound pass goes to Morgan Jones. We're back underway. Got some updates from the boys' game. 17-17, Harrison and Alma are tied. Oh. Uh, Russellville is trailing Greenwood 13-3. Oh, wow. At Greenwood. If, Green, if Greenwood shoots the ball, they're a dangerous team. That's true. Blake and Anderson in here with the Lady Bombers. I don't know if you noticed, caught that mad. Oh, and yeah. That timeout, getting some playing time. Okay. Anderson, a 5'6 uh, sophomore for the Lady Bombers. Ball goes over on the left side to Pilcher. Down to 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Pilcher's pass knocked away and stolen by Moore. Moore quickly back the other way, going coast to coast for the layup. Uh, they're going to call it for the travel. She, okay, let's be honest. I don't know that that's a travel. She came to a jump stop and then stepped through with her pivot foot. That's one of those you see them on videos, like this is not a travel. It yeah. looks like a travel, and I think that's why they got called with it. So Silent Springs gets the ball back, trailing by four. Ball's with Pilcher on the left side. She'll dribble up to the top. Gives over on the right side to Jones. She's going to pull up for the three-pointer. Good. Morgan Jones with her first field goal of the night. She has five this evening. It's down to a one-point game. 
Ball goes to Rittenberg in the left corner. 13 to 12, our score. She'll find Anderson in the paint for the jumper. Rolls around, oh, fouls out. Fosses with offense rebound, she couldn't get the foul. Anderson with offense rebound, Good throws it out to Rittenberg. She's gonna try for the three pointer, no good. Anderson with another offensive rebound. Finds Rittenberg cutting into the lane for the jumper, won't go. Fosses with another offensive rebound. This one, this way it goes in. Holy cow, that's four or five offensive oh rebounds my gosh. in that possession for the Lady Bombers. About six chances in that one, yeah. yeah. 15 to 12, Mountain Home up. Fosses with her first two points of the night. Here is Preter Gas with it up top, gives it to Jones. She'll have dribbled between the circles. She's going to try another three pointer. This one won't go, and the rebound's chased down by Husky. Good box out by the Lady Bombers. They did a great job, all of them. The ball was able to hit the floor without anybody grabbing it. Moore within the left corner, and well, just threw it right into the right hand of Morgan Jones. Yeah, she thought Bailey was going to cut right there. Bailey cut hard and then stepped out of it, and they just weren't on the same page. Pilcher trying to the three on the left side, no good. And the rebound chased down by Canones, and Silent Springs will keep possession. And now a timeout's gonna be called by the Lady Panthers. We'll break with 6.02 left to play in the first half. It is Mountain Home leading Solemn Springs 15 to 12. You're listening to Lady Bomber Basketball on Classic Hits 101.7. Don't let an injury keep you down. Board certified orthopedic surgeons, Dr. Wynn Moore and Dr. Ed Roeder at Baxter Health Bone and Joint Clinic are ready to treat athletes of all ages. Doctors Moore, Roeder, and their staff integrate high quality, compassionate care with innovative treatment and years of experience. Baxter Health Bone and Joint Clinic will get you back to doing what you love. For more information or to schedule an appointment, call 870-424-4710 or visit baxterhealth.org. Discover the refreshing difference at Baxter Real Estate Company. While they welcome new faces, their agents are seasoned experts in the realm of real estate, particularly the captivating Twin Lakes area. With a treasure trove of knowledge and years of experience under their belts, their team offers unrivaled guidance to fulfill your property dreams. The area is experiencing a rise in listing inventory. Whether buying or selling, trust their experts to navigate the market with finesse. Baxter Real Estate Company. Great night for Blaine Tate. Yeah. And not, I don't know how many rebounds. He was up yeah. there on rebounds, too. Yeah. Aston Pilcher will inbound the ball on the baseline. Gets in to Emily Keene. We're back underway. About six minutes left to play in this first half. Johnson has it now up, up the top, just inside the half-court stripe. That's home in a man-to-man. Ball goes to Peter Gass. Finds a cutting of Pilcher. She'll be fouled on the way up and head to the free-throw line with 5.45 left in the half. I believe that's Lakin Anderson. Lakin Anderson's foul, yeah. First personal foul, team foul number one against Mountain Home here in the second quarter. So Addison Pilcher at the free throw line for the first time tonight. First shot is up. Good. So if she gets this next one, it'll be back to a one-point game. Second shot is up. She gets both. Our first two points of the night. 15 to 14, our score. That's all up. Here is Anderson with it, gives it to Husky. Who's going to be the offense right here? Usually Jayla and, and uh, Lakin are the ones that take that over. Who's going to step up and score for these Lady Bombers with Jayla off the floor? Ball goes to Anderson, down to McCarn. Over to Rittenberg on the right side. She dribbles into the lane. Throws it back out to Husky. Down to 10 on the shot clock. Ball goes to Moore near the right corner. She dribbles out a little more on the wing. To Husky in the corner. To McCarn, down to five. McCarn will throw it to Anderson. She puts up the lane. Her one. basket counts and she is fouled. Ooh, that was an ugly possession, but it ended up well for the Lady Bombers. Wow. Lake and Anderson will go to the line for the three-point play. See the, That foul is on Morgan Jones, her first personal foul. Team foul number one against Silom Springs. And uh, Anderson gets a free throw. It's a two-possession lead for Mountain Home. Need some stops. Let's get three stops in a row and three scores in a row. Let's extend this lead a little bit this first half. 18 to 14, Mountain Home up. About five minutes left to play in the half. Ball goes to Pilcher in the right corner. Yep. Lose the ball off her foot and goes out of bounds. Salem had about three players in the vicinity of about two feet of each other. Never good on offense. That's, that's not what you call spacing. And she went to dribble the ball, and it hit right off her, her teammate's foot. Husky with it up top for the Lady Bombers. Throws over to Rittenberg on the right side. Up top to Husky. To Anderson near the left corner. Has the ball knocked away, and uh, Johnson comes up with the steal. Jones with it into the front court. Morgan Jones... Will get by her defender, Parker Husky, and go in for the layup. She's got seven on the night. 18 to 16, Mountain Home lead back to, back to one possession. 
4.22 left in the half. Ball goes to Anderson on the left side. Back to Husky up top. To Moore near the left corner. Her pass knocked away and stolen by Johnson. And now her pass is stolen by Rittenberg. Rittenberg come back the other way from Mountain Home. Dribbles on the right side. Gives it to Moore at the free throw line. She's going to, into the lane. Has oh the ball God. knocked away. They're going to say uh, it's going to say a uh, turnover against Mountain Home Holy as it goes cow, out of bounds. She got hammered. That's one of those deals you can't you can't not call the foul and then give Siloam the ball. It's either going to have to be out on them or you kind of penalize us both ways. You didn't give us the foul and gave them the ball. Jaylee Yonkers comes back in from out home, replacing Lake and Anderson. Less than four minutes left to play in the half. 18 to 16, the Lady Bombers up. Jaylee's got two. She's going to have to be careful. And now Mount Holmes comes up with another steal as McCarn grabs it. Here is uh, Husky within to the front court. Finds Yonkers just outside the lane, up top to Rittenberg. Rittenberg has the ball knocked away and stolen by Jones. Jones back the other way. Going into lane for the layup. Good, and we're, we got our second tie of the night. Jayla Smart there, not picking up the foul. Morgan Jones with nine on the night. 18 all our score. 3.23 left in the half. Husky with it, gives it up top to Moore. Over, tried to throw it to Husky. Ball, ball goes well behind her and out of bounds. Another turnover against the Lady Bombers. Nine Moore. turnovers in this first half for the Lady Bombers. A lot of them just unforced. Kenley Moore checking in for uh, Solomon Springs, replacing Addison Pilcher. Solomon Springs looking to take their first lead of the night. Jones with it. Finds Johnson cutting into the lane for the layup, but rolls around and falls in, and Solomon Springs does have their first lead. Kenzie Johnson with her first two points. 20-18, the Lady Panthers up. Ball goes to Yonkers on the right side. She uh, loses her footing, but a foul's going to be called. It's going to be a tripping foul against uh, Salm Springs with 2.53 left in the half. Kenley Moore picks up her first personal foul. Team foul number two against the Lady Panthers here in the second quarter. Mount Holmes is going to see a lineup we don't see very often. We're going to have Livy, Fosness, and Anna McCarn on the floor at the same time. Two bigs. As Bailey Rentenberg checks out of the game. Ball goes to Fosness on the low block. Her, she'll be fouled on the way up and head to the free throw line Great with 247 pass. left. Good pass by, by Parker. That 3-2, she faked that past the outside. Livy did an excellent job sealing that bottom person. Perfect pass. Cadence Preter-Gas picks up her second personal foul. 13 foul against the Lady Panthers. So Libby Fossus at the free throw line for the first time tonight. First shot is up and in. I really like this lineup right here for the Lady Bomber, especially against this 3-2. Um, you know, I like to see us sink back and, and not worry about the three. If, if Solomon's going to start shooting it well, make them beat us from behind the arc. But I love this for our offensive set. Fossus, uh, second free throw misses everything. And so Solomon Springs will inbound it with 2.47 left in the half as they keep the lead, 20-19. Canones checks back in for uh, Psalm Springs, replacing um, Pretergast. Mount Home now going to switch to 1-3-1. One, one. Jo Jones with it, gives it to Johnson on the left side, down to Keene in the corner. Work. Tried, to, tried to throw it to, to, uh, to Kinley Moore. Ball is knocked away and stolen by Mount Home. Here is uh, Lake and Moore back the other way. Her uh, layup wouldn't go, and the rebound's controlled by Keene. Keen with it, gives it to uh, Jones. Now to Johnson, down to Keen in the left corner. Now she'll give it to Kenley Moore. Back to Keen for the three-pointer, no good. And the rebound is controlled by Fosses. Now to Nolan with the ball, trailing by one. Husky throws it to Moore on the right side. Oh. She's going to drill toward the elbow, pull up for the jumper, good, and Matt Holmes back on top. Yeah, had Livy wide open on the block. Lakin thought it was a defender and pulled up, but still got the bucket to fall. Lake and Moore with six points on the night. 21 to 20, Mountain Holmes. Silent oh. throws it to nobody in particular, oh and my. it just goes out of bounds down here. So another turnover against the Lady Panthers with 147 left to play in the half. This 1-3-1 one, one is giving them a little bit of problems right now. Sarah Williams coming back in for Mountain Home, replacing Lake and Moore. So Lady Bombers with the ball and the 21 to 20 advantage. Husky with it up top. Throws it to Williams near the right corner. Tries to throw it to Foster. Ball knocked away by Keene. It goes out of bounds. It will be Mount Holmes' ball on the baseline with 135 left in the half. Good look right there. Next time Sarah can just pump fake that, let Keene go on by, then feed it to her. It'll be a wide open layup. 24 left on the shot clock as Husky will inbound the ball on the baseline. Throws it to Yonkers in the right corner. She will drill to the low block going in for the layup. Won't go. Offense rebound from McCarner. She puts it back up and in. 
Anna McCarn with seven on the night. 23 to 20, Mount Tom gets a little more cushion. That's nine offensive rebounds already for the Lady Bombers that has resulted in nine points. Johnson with it. Throws it to Keen in the lane for the reverse layup. Won't go, and the rebound is controlled by Yonkers. 1-3-1. One, one. Right now, Salem does not have an answer for it. Mountain Home needs to stick with it. Yonkers dribbles to the low block, goes up for the layup. Good. Good. Jayla stay aggressive. Jayla needs to stay aggressive. And Salem Springs is going to take another timeout. We'll break with 102. Let's play in the half. It is Mountain Home leading Salem Springs 25-20. You're listening to Bomber Basketball, or Lady Bomber Basketball on Classic Hits 101.7. Hi, this is Katie. It's basketball season, and Farmers and Merchants Bank is cheering on the Mountain Home Bombers. We applaud the extra effort athletes, coaches, and band members contribute to make our school activities such a fun part of our community. Like you, working as a team to help you reach our goals as Farmers and Merchants Bank's game plan for success. Farmers and Merchants Bank. Finally, a bank in your corner. Go Bombers! Member FDIC, an equal housing lender. Since 1965, Harold Tucker Auto Parts has been serving the Twin Lakes area. Thank you, Twin Lakes area. See Harold Tucker Auto Parts for parts both foreign and domestic. From parts for automobiles to parts for mowers, they have custom-built hydraulic hoses and welding supplies, too. Open Monday through Friday, 730 to 530. Harold Tucker Auto Parts, your bumper-to-bumper -bumper auto specialist. Family-owned and three generations strong. Harold Tucker Auto Parts, proud to sponsor the Mountain Home Bombers. 810 South Street, Mountain Home, 425-5040. So taking the timeout after Mount Tom went back up two possessions. 102 lets play in the half. The Lady Bombers up on the Lady Panthers, 25 to 20. Got some updated scores from around the 5A West right now. Alma is up 37 to 26 at Harrison, or it's actually at Alma. I'm sorry. Greenwood up 18 to 15. Russellville on Russellville at Greenwood and Van Buren and Greenbrier. 26-19. Van Buren is up. And we're back underway as uh, key, as. Uh, uh, it is uh, Natalie Perez with a three-point attempt in the left corner. Can't get it to go, and Yonkers is fouled in the backcourt after she gets a rebound. They're going to have to start getting all these foul calls. Every time we get a rebound, we're getting our arms grabbed, and that's that's four team fouls on Siloam. If we can get one more and get to the line, see if we can steal a couple points. Kenzie Johnson picks up her first personal foul. That's the last foul Siloam Springs has to give in this, uh, in this half. Next one will put Matto in the bonus, although there's not much time left. Here is... Uh, Blake and Moore with it, gives it to Yonkers in the paint. She puts up the jumper, rolls around there and falls in. Jay needs to see some. That's two buckets in a row. Don't let Jayla get hot on you. Six on the night for Yonkers. 27 to 20, mounts home up by three possessions. Ball goes to Johnson. She's met by a double team. Pass is knocked away, and ball is knocked around and it's stolen by Yonkers. Great coaching move by these bom the Lady Bomber coaches to give this 1-3-1. One, one. Here we go. Yeah, Lake and Moore pulling up for the three on the left side. Good. She's got nine on the night. And it's all of a sudden a 10-point lead for Mountain Home. We're on like 11 or a 13-0 run right now, something in there. And yeah. About to get another steal, it looks like. Ball goes uh, over on the left side to Johnson. Up top to Jones. She's going to pull up for the three to try to beat the buzzer. It won't go. And we've come to the end of the first half. Great finish to that half as Mountain Home Lady Bombers are going to start the second half with the ball. Great end of that half. So our score after the first two quarters of play, Mountain Home will leading Psalm Springs 30 to 20. We'll start the Central Heating and Cooling Halftime Show in just a moment. You're listening to Lady Bomber Basketball on Classic Hits 101.7. Hello Bombers, I hope each of you has had a fantastic week. Many of you know that on Wednesday, Mountain Home was chosen as Arkansas's capital for the day. The district was honored to have the opportunity to host several of the governor's cabinet. Secretary of Education, Jacob Oliva, stopped by our kindergarten center to visit our pre-K classrooms. He got to see some fantastic lessons incorporating early literacy skills. He also spent some time in Ms. Curtis's kindergarten classroom, enjoying 100's Day activities and was so impressed with the creativity in the 100's Day dress up fun. The Secretary of Agriculture, Wes Ford, visited our FFA officers and sponsors and toured our Ag Ed facilities. He was joined by the Secretary of Energy and Environment, Shane Curry. At the end of the day, some of our middle school students who are enrolled in Mr. Pinka's Outdoor Adventures class went fishing with Governor Sanders at the North Fork Fish Hatchery. This is something our kids are going to remember forever. Thanks to all the volunteers who made this activity possible for our kids. It was a fantastic day, and we are so thankful we were able to be part of Arkansas's capital for the day. Happy Groundhog Day, and go Bombers!
And as always, go Bombers. ASC Warranty is proud to support the Mountain Home Bombers. ASC Warranty provides dealers with vehicle protection plans for any vehicle in their inventory. ASC Warranty's greatest assets are the people that make up the ASC team. The work ethic and dedication to consistently superior services provided by all of their employees are second to none. ASC Warranty is proud to say the Bombers have the same values. ASC Warranty is one of your biggest fans. They will be cheering you on every step of the way. Go Bombers! Don't let an injury keep you down. Board certified orthopedic surgeons, Dr. Wynn Moore and Dr. Ed Roeder at Baxter Health Bone and Joint Clinic are ready to treat athletes of all ages. Doctors Moore, Roeder and their staff integrate high quality, compassionate care with innovative treatment and years of experience. Baxter Health Bone and Joint Clinic will get you back to doing what you love. For more information or to schedule an appointment, call 870-424-4710 or visit baxterhealth.org. Discover the refreshing difference at Baxter Real Estate Company. While they welcome new faces, their agents are seasoned experts in the realm of real estate, particularly the captivating Twin Lakes area. With a treasure trove of knowledge and years of experience under their belts, their team offers unrivaled guidance to fulfill your property dreams. The area is experiencing a rise in listing inventory. Whether buying or selling, trust their experts to navigate the market with finesse. Baxter Real Estate Company, the Twin Lakes area's best choice for local realtors to help you find that perfect property. Brad, what are you doing? I'm resizing all my boxes. Why? New math. Everyone's doing it. The Big 10 equals 12, the Big 12 equals 18, and the Pac-12 now equals 4. And I have Traeger, Samsung, Sony, and Sonos systems that fit in all kinds of boxes, so I'm resizing. People don't care about your boxes, just the stuff that's in them. Yeah, well, 10 out of 8 people like our big boxes better. Folks, come see all of our different size boxes next to Walmart Mountain Home or at BigBoxBrad.com. Touchdown! Five points. <laughs> The community of Mountain Home continues to be committed to the Bombers, just as Centennial is committed to their customers. Perseverance, commitment, and resilience are key ingredients for success both on and off the field of play. Whether you are cheering on the Bombers, starting a new business, or planning for the future, Centennial is here for all of life's moments. Let them be your partner. Centennial Bank, member FDIC. Hi, this is Katie. It's basketball season, and Farmers and Merchants Bank is cheering on the Mountain Home Bombers. We applaud the extra effort athletes, coaches, and band members contribute to make our school activities such a fun part of our community. Like you, working as a team to help you reach our goals is Farmers and Merchants Bank's game plan for success. Farmers and Merchants Bank, finally, a bank in your corner. Go Bombers! Member FDIC, an equal housing lender. Since 1965, Harold Tucker Auto Parts has been serving the Twin Lakes area. Thank you, Twin Lakes area. See Harold Tucker Auto Parts for parts both foreign and domestic. From parts for automobiles to parts for mowers, they have custom-built hydraulic hoses and welding supplies, too. Open Monday through Friday, 7.30 to 5.30. Harold Tucker Auto Parts, your bumper-to-bumper -bumper auto specialist. Family-owned and three generations strong. Harold Tucker Auto Parts, proud to sponsor the Mountain Home Bombers. 810 South Street, Mountain Home, 425-5040. At Knox Orthopedics, they know the pain from an injury demands immediate attention. At Knox, they can fix that. Their four highly qualified physicians, Drs. Knox, Rawls, McConnell, and Franklin, make it their priority to see you as soon as possible. You'll benefit from the best in orthopedic medicine with doctors who really care about getting you back to a life that's pain-free. See them at Number 3 Medical Plaza Mountain Home or during clinic hours at Harrison, Salem, and West Plains. Check them out at knoxorthopedics.com. Use your smile to change the world, but don't let the world change your smile. North Arkansas Dental Group, formerly known as Coleman Family Dentistry, is a proud supporter of Mountain Home Bombers. A family-friendly dental office providing a state-of-the-art clinic, North Arkansas Dental Group is dedicated to you, your health, and especially your smile. Visit us at our new location at 2338 Highway 62 West or call 870-424-4670. Go Bombers! If you are tired of buffering and sketchy service, you need to experience Next, powered by NAEC's fiber optic internet. With service up to one gig, Next internet is the definition of high speed. Plans start at just $49.95 a month. Subscribe to Next by calling 870-895-3221 or visiting mynextfiber.com. 
You may also subscribe by visiting North Arkansas Electric Cooperative's office. Are you building a new house? Not sure where the property lines are? Strider Consulting can help. They're a civil engineering and land surveying firm located at 1029 Highway 201 North of Mountain Home. With over 23 years in the business, Strider Consulting has the experience and expertise to bring your project to life. Visit strider.consulting to see their full list of services and request your quote today. Strider Consulting is a proud supporter of Mountain Home Bombers Athletics. Strider Consulting, engineering our future. United Country Real Estate of Mountain Home is the largest seller of rural real estate in the United States. With United Country, you'll find trust and integrity, integral parts of their high standards. As a seller, you'll benefit from United Country's unique and proven marketing system. You owe it to yourself to call the number one team in the nation today at 425-3820. United Country Real Estate, proud supporters of our Mountain Home Bombers. White River Materials has earned a reputation for producing industry-leading high-quality results. They have the experience and equipment to perform each project quickly, safely, and cost-efficiently. Privately owned and operated White River Materials prides themselves in quality work with the customer's best interest in mind. If you need limestone or concrete products, or someone to do the job correctly the first time, give White River Materials a call today at 425-3431 or 425-4510. When the time comes to consider home care for a loved one, let First Choice Home Care make it a simple and easy process for everyone. With trained PCAs and CNAs, we will treat your loved ones like our family. With 10 offices around the state of Arkansas and award-winning care, let us show you why First Choice Home Care is the best choice. Give us a call today, 870-222-0088, or visit us on the web at www.firstchoicehomecare.net. And as always, Go Bombers! ASC Warranty is proud to support the Mountain Home Bombers. ASC Warranty provides dealers with vehicle protection plans for any vehicle in their inventory. ASC Warranty's greatest assets are the people that make up the ASC team. The work ethic and dedication to consistently superior services provided by all of their employees are second to none. ASC Warranty is proud to say the Bombers have the same values. ASC Warranty is one of your biggest fans. They will be cheering you on every step of the way. Go Bombers! Don't let an injury keep you down. Board certified orthopedic surgeons, Dr. Wynn Moore and Dr. Ed Roeder at Baxter Health Bone and Joint Clinic are ready to treat athletes of all ages. Doctors Moore, Roeder and their staff integrate high quality, compassionate care with innovative treatment and years of experience. Baxter Health Bone and Joint Clinic will get you back to doing what you love. For more information or to schedule an appointment, call 870-424-4710 or visit baxterhealth.org. Discover the refreshing difference at It is Mount Tom's ball to start this second half as the two teams switch sides. Lady Bombers moving right to left for these last two quarters as they lead 30 to 20. Lake Moore takes the ball from uh, um, uh, from Parker Husky. Her three-pointer wouldn't go. Olivia Foss has got the offensive rebound. Couldn't get the put back. And this time the board comes to the Lady Panthers. Once again, getting the ball up quick and going on the offensive boards, we just got to finish that. Wow, Emily Keene just blew by Parker Husky and got that layup. Yeah, Bo, Bo Tillery made a change for that 1-3-1. One, one. We came out in that 1-3-1, one, one, he made a change, and um, and they uh, they did it. See if we switched to a man. Ball goes to McCarn on a low block. As Mount Tom leads by eight, she gives up top to Yonkers. Over to Moore in there in the left corner. She's going to pull up for the jumper. Good. Nice job with the Lady Bombers offensive possession. Lincoln Moore now double figures with 11. We're right. switching back into man right here, Mountain Home now. 32-22, Lady Bombers up. Actually, I think it's no, another zone. still in that yeah. zone. Yep. Here is uh, Jones with it, gives it to, to, to uh, Preter Gas. Her jumper no, just outside the lane, no good. And uh, Husky is going to be fouled from behind. Thrown to the floor. Cadence Preter Gas picks up her third personal foul. Team foul number one against the uh, Lady uh, Lady uh, Panthers here in the uh, third quarter. Good box out there by Parker going and getting that ball and the men strong with it. The silent strings player came from behind and grabbed her by the arm, just, just chunked her. So she'll check out of the game as Bianca Canones comes back in. She, she, she put up some good minutes off she the did. bench. She did. She played well off the bench for the, for the Lady Panthers. And she comes up with a steal as the pass goes well over the head of uh, whoever that was there in the paint. I think Anna McCorn. Okay. So uh, so Morgan Jones goes into the lane for the layup. Good. She's now in double figures with 11. 
Silent Springs just beats the Lady Bombers down the floor. 32-24 our score. Babs home up, 6.27 left to play in the third quarter. Yonkers with it on the right side. Gives it to Moore, just outside the paint. She puts up the turnaround jumper, no good. Fossus gets offensive rebound. She'll be fouled before any shot attempt. Libby's going to work on the offensive she glass is. for the Lady Bombers. And I told you, I love this lineup, especially against this Salem Springs team with that 3-2 zone. I love this lineup that we're running with uh, McCarn and Fossus in there together on that low blocks. They can't seem to have an answer for that. Kenzie Johnson picks up her second personal foul. Team foul number two against Salm Springs here in the third quarter. Inbound pass goes to McCarn in the right corner. She'll throw it out to Yonkers on the wing. Yonkers dribbles up top over to Husky on the left side. To Moore near the free throw line. Tries to throw it to Fossus in the lane. Ball knocked away, and Jones comes up with the steal. I think that's one of those deals where the coaches said, look at the post, and Lakin looked and threw at the same time instead of looking to see if it was actually open. Johnson with it in the right corner. Throws to Kinona as she puts up the jumper quickly, no good. And offense rebound for uh, Jones. She, she can't, her, uh, her layup attempt goes well over the backboard and out of bounds. And so Manton's going to get it back with 5.48 left to play in the third quarter. 32 24, Lady Bombers with the ball and the lead. Husky with it up top, gives it to Yonkers on the left side. Thought about three instead, she'll throw it to Moore in the left corner. Her three-pointer is up, no good. Fosnes with another offensive rebound. She puts it back up and in. And that is Livy Fosnes just on the, this, this lineup is so helping the Lady Bombers. Our, our best offense right now may just be get the ball up on the rim and go get the offensive rebound. Fosnes with five on the night. 34-24, back to a double-digit lead from outside. 520 left to play in the third quarter. Quinones throws over to Keen on the right side. That's 12 offensive rebounds for the Lady Bombers, three this half already. Jones with it, gives it up top to Johnson. Johnson dribbles into the lane, goes in for the layup, won't go. And McCarn gets the rebound for Matt's home. Throws it quickly in the front court to Moore. Well, Lakin Moore will find Fossus in the lane for the layup. Good. Great pass by Lakin. She drew both defenders. Livy, good job by your bigs, running block to block, getting to the other end, having her hands ready for that pass. Livy Fossus with seven on the night. 36-24, Lady Bombers up. 4.48 left in the third. Back the other way, Morgan Jones go, just blows by her defenders and goes in for the layup. Nice little take right there. She came out and kind of faked the handoff, dribble handoff, and it led to a wide open. Well, Livy Foss is just going to work as she gets the ball in the low block and gets another layup. Great pass there by, uh, by Jayla Yonkers. Nice bounce pass, fed it to the open hand with Livy. This is the game we've been waiting to see out of Livy Fossness. 38-26, mounts them up. 4.23 left to play in the uh, third quarter. Canonas throws it over to Johnson on the right side. Over to Jones. Jones is going by, blow by Lake and Moore, go in for the layup. Won't, this one won't go, and the re rebound controlled by Fosnes. She'll get it to Yonkers into the front court. Yonkers dribbling to the free throw line. Almost lost the handle of the ball, gets it up top to Moore. She puts up the three-pointer, good! Yeah, that's where Lakin needs to be taking her three. She is really good from the top of the key. She likes that shot up there instead of the corner. Lake and Moore with 14 on the night, and Salm Springs is going to take another timeout. We'll break with 401. Let's play in the third quarter. It is Mountain Home leading Solemn Springs 41 to 26. You're listening to Lady Bomber Basketball on Classic Hits 101.7. White River Materials has earned a reputation for producing industry leading high quality results. They have the experience and equipment to perform each project quickly, safely, and cost efficiently. Privately owned and operated White River Materials prides themselves in quality work with the customer's best interest in mind. If you need limestone or concrete products, or someone to do the job correctly the first time, give White River Materials a call today at 425-3431 or 425-4510. When the time comes to consider home care for a loved one, let First Choice Home Care make it a simple and easy process for everyone. With trained PCAs and CNAs, we will treat your loved ones like our family. With 10 offices around the state of Arkansas and award-winning care, let us show you why First Choice Home Care is the best choice. Give us a call today, 870-222-0088, or visit us on the web at www.firstchoicehomecare.net. And as always, go Bombers. South Springs coming out of the timeout as they have the ball trailing 41-26. to Canones has it. He throws over to Jones on the right side, up top to Johnson. She's going to put up the three-pointer. Good. <laughs> uh, kind of a flat-looking shot, but it went in. Yes, yeah, flat. Kind of shot it from her hip, but she drained it. Yeah. 41-29, Lady Bombers up. 340, let's play in the third quarter. Husky into the front court. Gives it to Moore on the right side. Moore's pass is knocked away. Moore is able to avoid the turnover and get it back. 
Moore has the ball knocked away once again, but Huskies there in the right corner to get the get the ball, put up the three, no good. McCarn gets off its rebound, and Mantle gets a fresh 35. McCarn throws it to Fossus in the paint. She's going to go in for the layup off the glass and in. And Livy is just having a night. She is playing so good down there. That's a sophomore post player going to work. She's got 11 on the night, eight in here in the third quarter alone. 43-29, Lady Bombers up. Three minutes left to play in the third. And if we can get some post presence and scoring out of uh, Anna McCarn and Livy Fosness, along with our scoring that we got with Jayla and Lakin, yeah. man, this Lady Bomber team is going to get tough. And now fouls will be called in the lane against Mount. They're going to get Parker Husky with her first, second personal foul. Team foul number one here in the third quarter against the Lady Bombers. And once again, Witten Coleman out for tonight's game. Still injured, but we'll find something out next week, hopefully, what we got going on All right. with her. Morgan Jones laying down the ball on the baseline. Gets it in to uh, Preter Guess, who's going to have to be careful. I think she's got three fouls, right? Yeah, I believe yeah. so. Here is Keen with it. She'll give it to Canones in the lane. Out to uh, Jones, over to Johnson on the left side. Down to Canones in the corner. Tried to throw it to Predergast, and she mishandles the ball. Oh, they're going to stay off the mountain home. Yeah, I think, I think Libby got a hand. Oh, okay. I thought, it, I thought uh, Johnson might have been the last one to touch it. But, all right, so uh, Bailey Redenberg's going to check out of the game as uh, Jaylee Yonkers comes back in. Inbound pass goes to Predergast. She puts up the uh, jumper on the, on the low block. Good. Her first two points of the night. 43-31, Lady Bombers up, 2.24 left to play in the third quarter. Moore with the ball in the left corner. Her three-pointer is up, no good. And McCarn, she able to get the offense rebound? She is not, but the ball's knocked out of bounds. They're going to say off of Salem Springs, I guess. And so Got Keene down yeah, over Emily there. Keen, yeah, but yeah, Anna yeah, McCarn and uh, Emily Keene both hit the floor. McCarn got up, but Keene's still, still struggling there. So <laughs> Bo Tillery is... She goes Looking back down. Her. She has to get oh. back up and goes back down again. I don't know if it's a knee or ankle or the right ankle she's poking at. Jim mm. goes quiet for their senior. Yep. Boy, she's having to be helped up. Yeah, trainer's out there with her. Boy, she ain't putting any weight on it. No, right leg. none. You can tell on her face. You know, you can always see when somebody goes down kind of what what's going on. And, man, as a bow tiller, you hate that. That's your senior, and, and uh, you don't want to see that. To a senior player. So she'll, have to, she'll go to the locker room as uh, Aston Pilcher comes in for Salem Springs. 2.17, let's play in the third quarter. Mount Tillman will inbound the ball on the near side, far sideline, excuse me, as they lead by a dozen. Kind of cool story, Bo Tiller Eves from Ashdown. We talk about this on the radio when we play them usually, but Mount Home had him hired as their junior yeah. head coach. And then he got a call and got the uh, interview here and was able to take this head coaching job. And, you know, the coaches were excited for him to get it. Lake and Moore is jumper in the lane. No good. Another offensive oh, rebound for Fossus. She puts it back up and in. 13 points, 10 in this third quarter. Livy has got to have a double-double tonight. She is, and it may even be on the offensive glass. It is amazing watching her go to work. I'm so proud for her, and she's just having a great game. And the Preter gets with it in the right corner. Throws it in the left corner to uh, Jones. Jones will throw it out to Johnson. Johnson dribbles into the lane. Finds uh, Canones out to uh, Jones on the left wing. Her three-pointer a little strong. And another, <laughs> another rebound for Fossens. Uh, Livy, I just can't speak enough of her. And the, and the good news is we get two more years of this. That's exactly this. right. Ball goes to Moore to Yonkers on the left side. Over to Husky on the right. Back to Yonkers. Thought about three. Instead, she will dribble to the right elbow. Finds Moore near the right corner. She's going to pull up for the three-pointer. Won't go. McCarn with the what? offensive rebound. She's going to put up the shot, turnaround shot. No good. Fossus with another offensive rebound. Good pass. Finds McCarn in the lane. For the way up. Good. Oh, my goodness. Going, we are going back here. Go, or post to post passing and two offensive rebounds on that. And uh, Silent Springs looks like they're going to take their last full time out of the night. We'll break with 104 left to play in the third quarter. It is Mountain Home leading Psalm Springs 47-31. to 31. You're listening to Lady Bomber Basketball on Classic Kids 101.7. If you're tired of buffering and sketchy service, you need to experience Next, powered by NAEC's fiber optic internet. With service up to one gig, Next Internet is the definition of high speed. Plans start at just $49.95 a month. Subscribe to Next by calling 870 870- 895-3221 or visiting mynextfiber.com. You may also subscribe by visiting North Arkansas Electric Cooperative's office. 
Are you building a new house? Not sure where the property lines are? Strider Consulting can help. They're a civil engineering and land surveying firm located at 1029 Highway 201 North of Mountain Home. With over 23 years in the business, Strider Consulting has the experience and expertise to bring your project to life. Visit strider.consulting to see their full list of services and request your quote today. Strider Consulting is a proud supporter of Mountain Home Bombers Athletics. Strider Consulting, engineering our future. With just one timeout left now, with 104 left to play in the game as uh, Mountain Home is up 47 to 31. Peter Gassel inbound the ball on the far sideline, gets into Kenzie Johnson. We're back underway. Mountain Home switched this 1 3 1 here now. Ball goes into the front court to Jones. Finds Pilcher on the low block. She goes up for the layup. Won't go. And <laughs> another rebound for Fosses. Just, just put it on recording, Matt. Livy Fosses with a rebound. Yeah. That's the ball knocked away, but Moore is able to get back and avoid the turnover. Moore will throw it to Yonkers on the left side. She drills to the, to the low block. Try, try to throw it to Fosses. Ball knocked away and stolen by the Lady Panthers. Here's a Johnson back the other way. Finding Pilcher for the layup. Good. Addison Pilcher with her first field goal of the night. She has four on the night. 47-33, Mountain Home up. 27 seconds left in the third. Shot clock is off. Husky with it up top. I got a text from Livy's dad. He's back home watching because he's on call this weekend. And he said, you've been waiting for Livy to break out. We've been <laughs> waiting for Livy to break out. Ball is up top oh. to Yonker. She puts up the three-pointer, no good. And the rebound is controlled by, uh, by uh, uh, Jones. And uh, Husky a little slow to get up. Yeah, she jumped, got her feet taken out from under and came down hard. Pilcher puts up the three in the right corner. And a stoppage of play with six cents of a second left. They're going, they're going to get Husky out of there, and uh, and uh, Bailey Rittenberg's going to come in. Yeah, Parker jumped up, kind of got her feet out from under. She came down and landed right on her backside. I guess is the air appropriate way to say that. And she's hobbled up. She looks like she's okay over there. Her yeah. coach and dad has got her consult console over there. Pilcher with seven on the night, and they're just going to let the final few final uh, less than a second tick off, and it's going to be a 14 point. No, sorry, 11 point lead for. Uh, Mountain Home going into the final eight minutes. Our score at the end of three, Mountain Home leading Salem Springs 47 to 36. You're listening to Lady Bomber Basketball on Classic Hips 101.7. ASC Warranty is proud to support the Mountain Home Bombers. ASC Warranty provides dealers with vehicle protection plans for any vehicle in their inventory. ASC Warranty's greatest assets are the people that make up the ASC team. The work ethic and dedication to consistently superior services provided by all of their employees are second to none. ASC Warranty is proud to say the Bombers have the same values. ASC Warranty is one of your biggest fans. They will be cheering you on every step of the way. Go Bombers! Don't let an injury keep you down. Board certified orthopedic surgeons, Dr. Wynn Moore and Dr. Ed Roeder at Baxter Health Bone and Joint Clinic are ready to treat athletes of all ages. Doctors Moore, Roeder and their staff integrate high quality, compassionate care with innovative treatment and years of experience. Baxter Health Bone and Joint Clinic will get you back to doing what you love. For more information or to schedule an appointment, call 870-424-4710 or visit baxterhealth.org. Discover. It is Solomon Springs ball to start this final quarter as Mount Tom leads 47 to 36. And Mount Pass goes to Pilcher. She'll give it back to uh, Morgan Jones. We're back underway. Ball goes over to Johnson on the uh, right side, up top to Pretergast. Pretergast uh, dribbles to the right corner. Good defense right there by Lakin. They tried that little fake handoff again, and Lakin switched off and came in there. Ball goes to Johnson in the paint. She throws out to Jones. Now to Ellis. Now Pilcher has it. She will give it, try to throw it back to uh, Jones. She mishandles the ball. And uh, the ball goes out of bounds. will be another turnover against Solomon Springs. Parker Husky coming back in as Bailey Rittenberg takes a seat. So, yeah, you're, so it looks like she is uh, feeling a little better there. Yeah, you got to get her back in. She may be, may be a little sore, but you don't want her sitting over there kind of letting it get sore on her. And, and uh, she's moving good, so I think she's going to be okay. Well, Bailey Rittenberg will check right back in the next available time. Here is Yonkers with it, dribbling into the lane, finding Fosses for the layup. She'll be fouled on the way up and head to the free throw line with 7.24 left. I'm just hoping... I'm just hoping that Livy Fosness will come with different dyed hair and a tattoo sleeve oh, next game because she is our Dennis Rodman. Oh. She is just unreal around the boards tonight. I'm going to agree to disagree on that. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, Fosness hits the first free throw. <laughs> that foul is on uh, Erica Ellis, her third personal foul, team foul number one against uh, Sonal Springs. And before Fosses shoots the second free throw, Mount Tom's going to take a timeout. 
We'll break with 724. Let's play in the game. Matt Tome leads Silent Springs 48 to 36 with a free throw pending. You're listening to Lady Bomber Basketball on Classic Hits 101.7. Hi, this is Katie. It's basketball season, and Farmers and Merchants Bank is cheering on the Mountain Home Bombers. We applaud the extra effort athletes, coaches, and band members contribute to make our school activities such a fun part of our community. Like you, working as a team to help you reach our goals as Farmers and Merchants Bank's game plan for success. Farmers and Merchants Bank, finally, a bank in your corner. Go Bombers! Member FDIC, an equal housing lender. Since 1965, Harold Tucker Auto Parts has been serving the Twin Lakes area. Thank you, Twin Lakes area. See Harold Tucker Auto Parts for parts both foreign and domestic. From parts for automobiles to parts for mowers, they have custom-built hydraulic hoses and welding supplies, too. Open Monday through Friday, 730 to 530. Harold Tucker Auto Parts, your bumper-to-bumper -bumper auto specialist. Family-owned and three generations strong. Harold Tucker Auto Parts, proud to sponsor the Mountain Home Bombers. 810 South Street, Mountain Home, 425-5040. in the game well she is just having a night it's unbelievable you know here's the deal with Livy we've we've been waiting I, I joke about her dad saying that we really have been waiting for Livy to bust out she has the skill she's she's unable to be blocked out yeah and uh you know they come from a smaller school in Minnesota coming up here and just catching up with the speed of the game and we knew it was coming and man what a better time than to no better time than tonight for her well, she does get both free throws. She's got 15 on the night. Mount Tom up 49 to 36. Here is Jones with it up top. Throws over to Keene on the right side. Up top to Ellis. Ellis dribbles into the lane. Goes up for the uh, for the layup. It was uh, stopped by Faustus, and the rebound is controlled by Yonkers. Her pass, though, is knocked away, and uh, Jones comes up with a steal. Jones back the other way. She's going to pull up for the three on the left side. Good. Morgan Jones with 16 on the night. 10-point game, can't breathe easy yet. Mount Home just needs to be, be safe and get great shots on coming down the floor now. 49-39-hour score, 6, 4, 6.33 left. Ball goes to Yonkers in the right corner. She's met by a double team. Try to throw it to Fossus. Ball knocked away and stolen by Ellis. Here comes Sal Springs. Pilcher with it in the right corner. She's going to try another three-pointer in and out, and the rebound's controlled by Fossus. She'll throw it to Husky, who will bring it into the front court. Ball goes over to Rittenberg on the left side. She drills to the elbow, finds McCarn on the low block, and she'll be tied up. It will be Mount Holmes ball on the possession arrow. Yeah, that's, that's something with Bailey with play in time will realize right there. Anna's 6'4", 6 6'5", 6 and she's going against a 5'10 person. Throw that ball up high. Don't bounce that down there to where she has to reach down around her knees to get it. Throw that ball up high and let Anna stay up tall with it and go get the ball. Lake and Moore comes in replacing Jayla Yonkers, and for Salem Spring, as uh, Cadence Pretergast checks out of the game as she's replaced by Bionic Quinones. Lake and Moore will inbound the ball on the uh, baseline, and Bailey Redberg has to chase it down. And now her, she has her pocket pick as Keene comes up with the steal. 15th turnover by the Lady Bombers tonight. Pilcher going up for the layup, no good, gets her own rebound, goes back up with it. That won't go either, and this time the rebound is <laughs> just uh, controlled by Foss. She just uh, made sure ripped it out of everyone else's hands. Said, you're not getting that rebound. 31 rebounds tonight. I guarantee you Livy Fossens has half of them. Oh, yeah. But now Redberg has the ball knocked away. Canonas comes up with the steal as she throws out to Jones. Mount Home just on a turnover bug right yeah. now. We just, we're at 16 turnovers to 11. Jones going up for the runner in the lane. No good. Fight for the rebound. And Jones gets it. Throws out to Ellis. Over to Pilcher on the right side. Down to, to Ellis on the low block. She will give it to Quinones. Her jumper is up. No good. May have been partially blocked. And McCarr gets the rebound. She will give it to Husky, who's back the other way with it. Just settle down, slow down, get a great shot. That's one right there. McCarn will be fouled on the way up, and she'll head to the free throw line with 5.13 left. Good job, Parker. Pressing the issue, drawing the defense to her, and throwing it over to Ann on that left side. Kate, I'm oh, sorry, Erica Ellis picks up her fourth personal foul. Second team foul against Salem Springs here in the fourth quarter. Uh, the fourth free throw did not go. Did not go, okay. rolled out. As Livy Fossens gets a break, Bailey Brittenberg gets a break, Sarah Williams and Jay Leonker's back in for the Lady Bombers. Salem Springs bringing in a few subs as well. Uh, Natalie Perez comes in replacing Addison Pilcher. Morgan Jones and Erica Ellis take a seat. Uh, Ellis uh, uh, just picked up a fourth foul again. 
And the second free throw from McCarn is up and in. She's now in double figures with 10. You know, these tiebreaker points we talk about, this this is going to come down to first through third oh. is going to break it down. So she, she did hit the first free throw. No, she didn't go in. Well, they did. They gave it to her up there, but it did not go in. Okay, wow. Ball goes to Keen in the right corner. Now out to, to uh, Johnson, down to Preter Guest. She puts up the jumper. Her basket counts, and she is fouled. Woo! And their coaches are going here to figure it out, to talk to them about it, that it is not. Okay, so Cadence Preter Guest will go to the line for the first time tonight to try to convert the three-point play. Parker Husky picks up her third personal foul. Team foul number two against Mountain Home. Again, I'm sorry, again, number one against Mountain Home here in the uh, fourth quarter. Free throw for uh, Preter Gass is up and in. She has five on the night. It's 50 to 42. They do have it on the yep, wrong. Now, at the now they got corrected. As uh, Sarah Williams' three-pointer misses everything. Offensive rebound from McCarn. She she couldn't get the put back. It hit the bottom of the backboard, and the rebound's controlled by Solomon Springs. Emily Keene will throw that out to Perez for the three-pointer on the right side. No good, and Williams gets the rebound from Mountain Home. Good rebound by Sarah. Mountain Home just needs to settle down right here, and let's get a good shot. Husky uh, loses, the, loses the dribble, so she can't dribble anymore. Ball goes to Moore. She's going to put up the jumper in the lane. No good, and the rebound's controlled by Johnson. No reason to go quick. You've got a nine-point lead, and all you're doing is letting Siloam get up and get down, down the floor and beat you. And cut it to two possessions on the layup by Pretergast, and now Tom's going to take a timeout. Dell Leonard says enough. We'll break with 4:14 left to play in the game. It is Mount Home leading Salem Springs 50 to 44. You're listening to Lady Bomber Basketball on Classic Hits 101.7. Brand, what are you doing? I'm resizing all my boxes. Why? New math. Everyone's doing it. The Big Ten equals 12. The Big 12 equals 18. And the Pac-12 now equals four. And I have Traeger, Samsung, Sony, and Sonos systems that fit in all kinds of boxes. So I'm resizing. People don't care about your boxes, just the stuff that's in them. Yeah, well, 10 out of 8 people like our big boxes better. Folks, come see all of our different size boxes next to Walmart Mountain Home or at BigBoxBrad.com. Touchdown! Five points. <laughs> The community of Mountain Home continues to be committed to the Bombers, just as Centennial is committed to their customers. Perseverance, commitment, and resilience are key. In the break there, just the, uh, you know, not playing well, and you go through ebbs and flows of a season, and, and right now the Lady Bombers aren't playing well. However, great teams find ways to get wins when they're not playing well, and that's what we're hoping the Lady Bombers can do tonight. And Mountain Home almost turned out, or they do. They're going to say it's off the foot of Livy Fossness. And, uh, and uh, Salem Springs is going to get back with 4.05 left to play in the game. A lot of our turnovers have been on interior, trying to make those bounce passes. We've got the height advantage. We need to get that ball up in the air. Johnson into the front court for the Lady Panthers. Throws over to Perez on the left side. Now Johnson has it there on the wing. She dribbles toward the low block. Throwing it out to Keen on the uh, right wing. Well, well, that's a strange pass, but it's ran and chunked it. Yeah, Ellis goes into the lane for the layup. No good. And the rebound's controlled by Moore. Lake and Moore into the front court for Mountain Home. Throws it to McCarn. She's going to be tied up. It's oh. going to be Solomon Springs ball in the possession arrow. Anna doesn't need to dribble that ball. She's catching and just dribbling it down as she catches that ball. And uh, she needs to keep it above her head, wait for some cutters to come, and then jump, drop that ball off. Morgan Jones comes back in for Salem Springs, replacing Natalie Perez. 3.32 left to play in the game. 50 to 44, Lady Bombers up. Jones will walk the ball into the front court for the Lady Panthers. Good news for the Lady Bombers. The Salem Springs team's having this hard time scoring. I mean, they've got eight points in this quarter, and that's been a, that's been a big offensive onslaught for them. So. Even though we're not scoring, you got to feel if we can get five or six more points, it's going to be a lot for Salem Springs to overcome. Johnson tries to throw it to Preter Gas. Ball's knocked away, but uh, Keen's there to pick it up. Down to 15 on the shot clock. Up top to Jones. Down to 10. Jones dribbles on the left side. You go one on one. Ball goes to Keen in the right corner. She's going to put up the three pointer. No good. And the rebound chased down by McCarn. She'll give it to Yonkers, who's quickly into the front court. Yonkers will go up for the layup. She'll be fouled on the way up and head to the free throw line with 2.52 left. Good rebound on this other end by Anna McCarn. She went in there and grabbed that rebound and nice outlet pass to Jayla. Jayla pressed the issue really well, taking it to the hole. That's Emily Keene's second personal foul. Team foul number two, number three, excuse me, against uh, Mountain Home, against Donald Springs here in the fourth quarter. So Jayla Yonkers' first free throws of the night is up and in. 
Cadence Predergast checking back out of the game as Bianni Quinones comes back in. Second free throw for uh, Yonkers. Gets both. So it's uh, an eight-point lead for Matt's home. 52 to 44 our score. 18 turnovers by the Lady Bombers tonight. Ball knocked Walk. away. Matt's home almost comes up with a steal. Uh, she walked before she yeah. did it, and they didn't call it on her. Johnson tries to throw it to, to Ellis. It goes off her hands and out of bounds on the baseline. Mount Holmes going to get it back on the turnover. Now, we just need to get a great shot. We're up eight. Use the shot clock. Get a great shot and uh, see if we can't get a, get up this thing up to ten and more. Yep. Husky across the timeline. Throws it to Moore near the left corner. Right corner, excuse me. Now back to Husky. Over to Yonkers. Now Moore has it near the top. Lot pass to McCarnell in, in the paint. Don't dribble she has that, the ball Anna. knocked away and stolen by Asylum Springs. Don't dribble that ball, Anna. You had it up high. Just turn around and go up with it. Ball is with Ellis. She drills on the right side. Gives it there to Jones. Jones will throw it to Keene on the left. Keene's going to dribble into the lane, and she'll be fouled. They're going to call on the shot? Wow. No, she was... Wow, they're, the, they're going to give it to her. Anna McCarn picks up her. She was passing that ball out. I thought so, too. That's uh, McCarn's first personal foul, team foul number two against Mountain Home here in the uh, fourth quarter. So Emily Keene at the free throw line. So far, one of two on make it one of three uh, from the free throw line. She misses the first one here. Bianca Quinones and Eric Ellis check out of the game as Cadence Predergast and Anali Perez check back in. 159 left to play in this game as Keene has one more free throw to shoot. Second shot is up. Good. She has six on the night. 52-45. Still three possession lead for Mountain Home. Moore back the other way. Going up for the runner. Shot was blocked by Keene. And uh, the ball comes to the hands of Nally Perez. There's no reason right now for the Lady Bombers to be in a rush. Just use shot clock. The clock is your friend. Jones dribbling into the lane. Loses the ball off her leg and out of bounds. Mountain Home <laughs> He dodges a little bit of a bullet there. Yeah, he did. They're going to come up with a, with a full court press here. 140 left to play in the game. It's a seven-point match home advantage right now. It's going to be a man press. We just need to get it in and clear and let Parker take it. Husky does have it. Uh, she's about to be met by a double team, though. Yeah, they're going to come jump it. Now if she picks up a dribble, gives it to Moore. Into the front court to Yonkers. Now settle out right here. Yonkers will give it up top to Husky. Who's They're in a man-to-man. -man. They've switched to a man-to-man. -man. Over to Moore on the right side. She drills the elbow, pulls up for the jumper. No good. Rebound controlled by Perez. Silent Springs with another chance to make it a two-possession game. 113 let's play. Here is uh, Johnson with it. Gives up top to Predergast. Over to Jones on the right. She dribbles up to the top. Over to Perez on the left. Perez will dribble up to the top. Gives it there to Johnson. Johnson drills to the left side, gets there to Jones. And an offensive foul away from the ball, or is it? Yeah. No, they're gonna, I think they're going to call Parker Husky oh. on the foul. What? Wow. Okay. That is, uh, that's Husky's fourth. Team foul number three against uh, Mountain Home here in the, the uh, fourth quarter. And now uh, Silent Springs is going to use their last time out of the night. A little break with 57.9 seconds left to play in the game. It is Solemn Springs leading Mountain 52 to 52-45. You're listening to Lady Bomber Basketball on Class Kids 101.7. Discover the refreshing difference at Baxter Real Estate Company. While they welcome new faces, their agents are seasoned experts in the realm of real estate, particularly the captivating Twin Lakes area. With a treasure trove of knowledge and years of experience under their belts, their team offers unrivaled guidance to fulfill your property dreams. The area is experiencing a rise in listing inventory. Whether buying or selling, trust their experts to navigate the market with finesse. Baxter Real Estate Company, the Twin Lakes area's best choice for local realtors to help you find that perfect property. Brad, what are you doing? I'm resizing all my... With 57.9 seconds left to play in the game. Well, we're, we're acting like we're going to inbound it. They must have called that foul on Johnson. No, no, never mind. No. So Sarah, Sarah Williams was a little confused there. She thought she, she went out to the baseline to, to throw, throw it in. But, in. but no, it's it's Solomon Springs ball. Okay, yeah. 57.9 seconds left to ask. As uh, Jones inbounds it to Keene over top to Johnson, over to Pilcher on the right side, and her and oh. the pass goes off Keene, but then off the arm of Parker Husky. 
That's just unfortunate. Yeah, there. they set up a play. They threw the ball too high. Went off of Keene's hand, and Parker just happened to have her back there. It hit off her shoulder right out of bounds. Yep. So it will be Jones and bowing in on the baseline. Gives it to Johnson on the left side to Jones in the corner. Make him run some clock here. Yep. Jones will throw it over to Pilcher on the right side, down into a Preter Gas in the corner. Boy, the she got she got really close to that baseline. Uh, Ball goes off of a Lake and Moore and out of bounds. And so it will be uh, Solomon Springs inbounding it once again. 40 and a half seconds left in the game, 18 left on the shot clock. Jones will inbound it to Preter Gast. Back to Jones. She drills out to the right wing, gives it to Johnson. I don't know if they're aware of the low shot clock that they're in. Ball goes over to Keene on the left side. She's going to dribble to the low block. Her lamp is blocked. Oh, they're going to call a foul on McCarn. So with 30 seconds left, Emily Keene will head to the free throw line. Anna McCarn picks up her second personal foul. That's why it's so hard to win on the road here yeah. in the 5A West. Calls like that make it tough. Fourth team foul against, uh, Matt, against uh, the uh, Lady Bombers. First free throws up and in, and that makes a two-possession game. And I do feel that was a foul on Anna. The, the question is, how can we have been getting that on this end down here, right? That's And that's the difference there. Yeah. And how, how many free throws did the Lady Bombers shot tonight? Uh, I'll see if I can figure that up in a little bit. Uh, second free throw for uh, Keene is up. Rolls around, does not go. Uh, Moore had the rebound for a moment, but it was, not, it was knocked out of her hands. The last touch by Salem Springs. Mount Tom will get it back. With 28.9 left, shot clock is off. Now it's home up by two possessions. They're going to have to foul to extend this game. Sarah Williams will trigger the inbound pass, gets into Husky. And Husky into the front court, throws it to Yonkers. How long do they wait? Oh, there's the foul. Yeah, Coach, Coach Leonard is losing his mind on the Lady Bummer sideline over here. He's like, you have to call a foul. They had two hands pulling Parker's arms down as she was trying to make that pass and didn't call that, that foul. Kenzie Johnson picks up her third personal foul. That's the last foul Simon Springs has to give. The next one will put Mount Tom at the free throw line. 21.2 seconds left. Moore will inbound it from the far sideline into Husky. There's the foul. Emily Keene picks up her third personal foul. 15 foul, so Parker Husky go to the line uh, for the first time tonight. She has yet to score in this game. So one free throw will make it a three-possession game and make it a lot harder for Psalm Springs. Yeah, it's, it's need to see these go down. Husky's first free throw is up. Good. Sarah Williams and Jalen Yonkers check back in out of the game as Bailey Rittenberg and Lakin Anderson come back in. Caden Spreedergast checks out of the game as uh, she will replace uh, Jasmine Labatad. Free throw for a Husky is uh, no good. Offense rebound from McCarn. She puts it back up and in. Anna McCarn with 12 on the night, and Mount Tom quickly takes a timeout. We'll break with 15.8 left to play in the game. It is Mountain Home leading Salem Springs 55 to 46. You're listening to Lady Bomber Basketball on Class Kids 101.7. United Country Real Estate of Mountain Home is the largest seller of rural real estate in the United States. With United Country, you'll find trust and integrity, integral parts of their high standards. As a seller, you'll benefit from United Country's unique and proven marketing system. You owe it to yourself to call the number one team in the nation today at 425-3820. United Country Real Estate, proud supporters of our Mountain Home Bombers. White River Materials has earned a reputation for producing industry-leading high-quality results. They have the experience and equipment to perform each project quickly, safely, and cost-efficiently. Privately owned and operated White River Technicals. I don't know if the coach got thrown out or what at the end of the game. If so, that could be he did get ejected, he said. So that da could be a big implication on he might not be able to coach against the Bombers next game. So David Staller may be uh, may, may, may may not be on the sideline for looks like for against the Mount Home Tuesday night. Mount Home full court press right here. We're trying to get that 10 point. We're trying to get that that tiebreaker. 55-46 our score as uh, they as Silent Springs turns it over 9.9 .9 left. The ball goes out of bounds well to the wide of Pretergast. Coach Leonard trying to call a timeout. Yeah. And they're going to get it. So we'll break with 9.9 .9 left to play in the game. It is Mountain Home leading Solomon Springs 55-46. to 46. You're listening to Lady Bomber Basketball. 
When the time comes to consider home care for a loved one, let First Choice Home Care make it a simple and easy process for everyone. With trained PCAs and CNAs, we will treat your loved ones like our family. With 10 offices around the state of Arkansas and award-winning care, let us show you why First Choice Home Care is the best choice. Give us a call today, 870-222-0088, or visit us on the web at www.firstchoicehomecare.net. And as always, go Bombers. ASC Warranty is proud to support the Mountain Home Bombers. ASC Warranty provides dealers with vehicle protection plans for any vehicle in their inventory. ASC Warranty's greatest assets are the people that make up the ASC team. The work ethic and dedication to consistently superior services provided by all of their employees are second to none. ASC Warranty is proud to say the Bombers have the same values. ASC Warranty is one of your biggest fans. They will be cheering you on every step of the way. Go Bombers! Mattone taking the timeout with 9.9 .9 seconds left as they lead 55 to 46. Look, we're going to throw this deep to Lakin. This is easy. Throw it deep. Lakin Anderson throws a baseball pass to Parker Husky, and uh, she'll be fouled. Back. Yep. She's going to go to the base. She's going to go to the free throw line. Yep. 8.2 seconds left. That took 1.7 off the clock. Got yep. your softball star throwing that ball in. Lakin Anderson with a great pass. Really, there was nobody behind Lakin Moore. Her girl was in front of her here. They could have just thrown it deep to Lakin. She could have shot a layup. Emily Keene picks up her fourth personal foul. Husky's first free throw, no good. <laughs> Coach Husky rolling his eyes over there. He knows how big this point is yep. when it comes to tiebreaker points. She's now one of three on the from the line with one point. With one more to shoot. Second shot for Husky is up. Good. There we go. Got that. Now we just need to play defense. No fouls. So 56-46. Mounts home enough tiebreaker points. About pass goes to Johnson. Johnson throws it, tries to throw it to Preter Gas. She is able to get it. Try can't get the layup. McCarn gets the rebound, and uh, that's oh they're going to are they going to foul her? They're going to no they're going to wave it off. They're going to wave it off. Yep. So Mount Tom is going to get the ten point victory and get and uh, get the max on the tiebreaker points. Our foul scorer. Mountain Home defeats Sound Springs in this girls' match at 56-46. We'll come back and start the Baxter Health Fund and Joint Clinic postgame show in a moment.